Thank you.
You ready? Mr. Katsui is back and hello Jimmy the butler. So, rumour has it that you are back with the land of the pe- poo poo a choo choo. Oh, wait, we start the game. Uh, rumour has it that you you are back with the land of the PCs. It looks nice. Um, just send me just just curiosity. You know what we like about PCs. Just out of curiosity, just send me if you can the specs, Mister Pevelin. How the devil are you, sir? Oh, I've had a really really tiring day. Honestly, I've had such a tiring day. Trying to decorate, trying to do this, trying to do that, trying to do all sorts of stuff. How are you doing, kiddo? Uh, thank you guys for coming in nice and early. Uh, I'm, uh, mate, it takes ages to download games because I don't know why I could. Oh, oh, you downed your connection. Do you know something? Honestly, honestly, cares. It's not even worth getting that fast connection because I seem to have nothing but problems with the Wi Fi downstairs yesterday the good lady had let me turn that down yesterday the lady had a lot of problems trying to keep the tv downstairs connected i think it's her person there <laughs> the camera will come on in a bit guys so what i'm going to do is on monday i'm going to have a chat with them and um, i may drop down again my smart tv keeps connected keeps yeah, that's right. That's exactly what mine does. That's all it keeps doing. So either they either they can fix the problem or they take it back. They take it back and put me back to the normal ones. It is it's the hub. I think that this hub is a test hub. <laughs> I think it's a test hub. And I think what they're doing is they're trying it out on us uh Let's put a nice code in. Here we go. Uh, that one, that one, that one. There we go. There you go, guys. You can enter on that code. Um, somebody will enter on it. I know that for definite. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to have a chat with them because I normally have a conversation with them and normally get it free for a few months. We are the beta testers for the new hub. I think so. Honestly, I think, I think that's what it is. I have felt so tired today, guys. I mean, I was up early. I've started decorating the um, conservatory and then I gave up because I wasn't in the mood. If I'm decorating or... God damn, if I'm decorating or doing something, I have to be in the mood. I've got to be. <coughs> oh, 50. Right, guys. Now, for those of you that are here nice and early, I will show you what I have been up to over the last couple of days look at this for a shunting area oh let me load let me load this up as well guys i always forget 50 you always forget i am so tired i really wasn't going to stream tonight you know i was going to chill out and i thought to myself i've been sat here doing most of this and i thought you know what i need to go on i need to get on i need to do something <laughs> my life is so busy at the moment oh god Oh God. Oh dear. So what have we been up to on Saturday? Right. So we attached, this is just the, um, uh, mod added software. If you want it, if you put exclamation mark R R O X in the channel, you can download it. If you play this game, if not, just take it anyway, just take it for the fun of it because it's free. And we all like things that are free, don't we? There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dear. Right. So let this connect and let's see what we can do. Um, at the moment, guys, I have done all I can do at the moment around this area. So the idea tonight is for me to earn more money. I only have a $519. So that's not going to buy me anything. That's not going to get me a great deal. I can probably get another carriage, which I've got four over there. I've made these shunting areas so they can hold 10 carriages. Oh my God, 50. Can you manage 10? 10 carriages. Look at these. Oh, these. It looks absolutely awesome, guys. I'm kind of pleased with my progress at the moment on the first level. But I've still got to work my way through to the other levels and 
make my way over to the smelter, make my way over to, let's have a look. I've got to make my way over to the smelter, oil field, ironworks, refinery, and the coal mine. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I have been up upgrading my tracks as well. I've tried to upgrade all the tracks. I'll show you this from a distance because this looks pretty cool. So I've got a nice shunting area, which works a treat. Um, I was trying to make a track to go all the way around to come back out, but I thought, no, I'll save on that and I will put a turntable at the far end and I've got a turntable over to the left behind the depot. So everything's set here. So tonight's just going to be a 50, a hauling, what he can, where he can. I may look at some of the tracks and try to upgrade and level them off because I've still got to get the gradient down to either zero or one because that's the biggest problem I've got at the moment. Um, trying to get it down to the right gradient so that I can carry what I can carry. Thank you very, oh, thank you. There you go, you see. I have somebody in the channel that tells me what's going on. Thank you for that, Kes. Appreciate that. It's nice to have you back, to be honest. It is nice to have you back, I've got to say. Um, so what we will do is we will test this first and we will connect what we'll do we'll come out we will couple up to this carriage here <laughs> yeah the phones phones are a bit of a problem aren't they all right let's put uh what camera do i want let's put the green screen on let's do that okay so we will couple up to this carriage here we will take it out i have to oh i can't can i i've got to move these first oh god because i've got things on right okay so we'll try and move these three first, which is going to be a bit of a ball ache, but we'll do it. So I have, oh God, I have my shunting today. Oh yes. Let's have a look. Can 50 remember everything? Oh God. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. First of all, we've got to get it so that it's got some fuel in it. But yeah, I've had such a, a quiet day today, to be honest. some sound on this game as well to my headset up. Uh, AV now downgraded to 9 out of 10 since we can now. <laughs> you know what Jimmy, I'll tell you something, what would this channel be without you? Somebody to wind me up. Right, let's just have a look at if I can do this. Jones Graham, hello! Right, let's do this. So we are going to come out of here we are going to carry straight on. We've got fair distance to go now because I've changed everything. We're going to pull up just here. We're going to reverse back in. And we are going to come down and pick up. Let's have a look. These one, two, and three. So we'll have to go onto that line, move over to this line, and move over to that line. Oh, God. It's going to be so much fun. And I do, I do believe I will derail at some stage. I just do anyway. Whether I want to or not, I derail all the time. Okay, so let's do this. God damn. Oh, we've got to wait for the pressure to build up. Oh, dear. I've got myself a drink as well, guys. It is... It's Saturday. Oh, my God. It's Saturday already. Whoa. So we have to wait for the water pressure to get to 100 and then it will start to build up the air, uh, boiler pressure. We don't have air brakes on this thing. This is Betsy. Now somebody said you can change the name on this. Not quite sure how you would do it, but they did say you could change the name on that. But I'll look at that. Right, so let's just wait for that to build up. We're up to 81%. So yeah, this took me some time to level the ground, build the tracks, and I want a, a mini meep. Oh my God, what kind of train is that? The kind of train? Uh, <laughs> How are you, Mini Meep, anyway? 
How the devil are you, sir? God damn, Mini Meep's here. Oh, God. Oh, no, Mini Meep is here. I need to have a shave as well, honestly. I've got to sort myself out, Lord. I look like an old man. Uh, good, sir. The question is, how have you been? I've been okay, to be honest. I've been okay, but tired. I have been fine, but just feeling a little bit tired. I think I'm kind of overdoing things a bit. I'm kind of overdoing things. But I should be okie dokies. So you will look at the difference between my tracks, how straight they are, because thanks to Alien Sensation, he sent me a link to a guy that shows you how to make your tracks a lot straighter, which kind of helps a great deal. 100% uh, can't wait to go back to school, getting tired of sitting home for the whole week. Just get yourself a hobby. Get yourself some kind of hobby or something. Or get yourself a woman. <laughs> I'll tell you something. That'll definitely keep you busy. <laughs> God damn. Get yourself a nice lady and I promise you she will keep you busy. <laughs> Have I any tips? Yeah, get yourself down to the... What is it? The nightclubs. Or get yourself down to a pub. Get yourself down to a pub and get yourself a lovely lady. You know what I mean? Get yourself a lovely lady. Right, so we're coming in on that line. We're going to come straight down here. Now, I need to pull up just here. Because as I keep saying, I cannot control any of the switches from this. I keep hitting that wrong. Which one is it? So it's that one then, isn't it? I don't know why it does that, but it does. Anyway, let's do this. Let's do this, boys. Click this baby into reverse. The banana bar, Todd. What the hell? <laughs> What's the? You're gonna, Tom. I have just seen. I'm looking at it now. I have just seen the graphics card that you have posted in Discord. And have you? I take it you've installed it already. A nice six gigabytes. I don't know if it's going to, I don't, listen, listen no, Tom, right, and please, don't take this any way, any other way than it's meant. I hope that graphic card improves your driving. That's all I do say, okay? No pun intended. I hope it improves your driving. Otherwise, send it back and get a refund. <laughs> Never. The real big gas. Oh, oh, look at this. Eleven months. Eleven months of sheer bliss. <laughs> Not a man you have The real big gaz, thank you very, very, very much for that 11 month subscription. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Oh, my, oh, it's working. I don't, thought my buttons weren't working then for a minute. Oh, God. The real big gaz just subscribed. Right, we need to slow down Welcome here because time. I need to stop about here. Let's get that done. Okay. And now I have to get out. Oh God, you have to you're get ready. Out. Mini me. Wow. I've been gaming since I was eight years old, and I'm uh, gaming right now. It's been about five to ten years ago. Oh my God. Mini me. Look at that. Wow. Eighteen months. You're joking. Minimeep, you've been subscribed 
to me for 18 months. Wow. Honestly, I would never, ever have guessed. Mini Meep One just subscribed. So, Welcome to the squad. I've been yeah. gaming since I was eight years old and man. Honestly, gaming that right is now absolutely isn't how it was five to ten years is. ago. It really is. 18? Oh god, it's snowing. I <laughs> keep hitting the wrong keys. <laughs> Oh, I've got to sort this thing out. I want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat myself to a larger uh, stream deck. I need the larger one so I don't have to change screens. Right, so we're gonna go straight back. Looking at the way this is now, it will take us down to. I have to show love to my elders. To my, it should be elders, not elderly. It should be elders. I'm not elderly. For God's sake, man, you go and do a nice thing like that. For 18 months, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, always using caps. Don't shout at me. Don't ever shout at me. You're supposed to respect your elderly, not shout at them. Oh, my God. Um, Let's do this first as well. Let's do this. Um, I do like this game for some reason. I am absolutely getting hooked on it. I'm getting hooked on this game. I love it. As Ton would say, I'm loving it. And who doesn't like trains, to be fair? The only problem here now is we're going to have to come back out, back in, back out, back in to go all the way over there. God damn game. Joffy, how the devil are you? Paul, oh my good God. Yep, trains are great. Oh, nice. How are you doing, Paul? Hello. Let's not go back too fast. Here we go. Nice and steady. Midnight Master. Oh, God. Hello. <laughs> guys, you guys are flocking in today. Thank you very much. I'm enjoying it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Right. That one. We are connected. Let's turn that off. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, that should be enough. Oh, come on. Achoo, achoo, achoo. Achoo, achoo. You know what we'll do while we're here, actually? While we are here, let's stock up on some wood. Let's stock up on some wood while we are here. And I've not been doing a great deal today, guys, at all. <clears throat> not been doing hardly anything. I actually fell asleep at one stage. I think I was up early this morning. Um, and if I remember rightly, I cleared out everything from the conservatory, stripped all the walls. And I've cut the, the idea is that I'm going to put the polystyrene, you know how you put that um, polystyrene membrane down to um, Laz, oh god, alright, uh, do you know what Laz, it's always nice to have you here as well. So I've put all the polystyrene membrane, cut all, the, call, cut all of them to size, can't get my words out today, and um, I think tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I will um, start to put that up on the walls and then I've got to do the ceiling paint everything white uh, and then just deck and then just what you call it put the wallpaper up and decorate so I've got a bit to do and I want to try and get it done this way I just was not in the mood this morning you know when you get up with all good intention I started the job and I thought to myself I'm just not in the mood I just was not in the mood to do it Oh, look at this. So nice. 
You see, it is what they call a shunting yard, so you really don't want to be going too fast, do you? And I've made each section so that it can hold 10 cars. So the idea now is with that log car there, that will give me 10 on there. I've got 10 lumber and coal and um, beams. And I've only got four now for the coal wood. But I will eventually get to, let's just stop here. And we need to get out. And again, it's like working in a shunting yard. So if I stay... Oh, I've got to turn that one off, haven't I? And for me, it's goddamn remembering how many switches I've got. I have got so many switches. So I've just got to pull up in front of this one and turn it off. Kind of like to do it manually sometimes as well, which is nice. And we'll go back at 28. Now that should take us straight down the middle one. There we go. I just wish this game had a free camera that you could, you know, move around on. Make life a lot simpler. Okay, let's get out and do this. Check this one because I think yeah that's off as well. You can imagine what this is like in real life though, isn't it? For whoever the shunter is, going backwards and forwards in whatever they do. I've got, a, I've got a train up here that I've got to sort out and turn around. Oh, I need to take that off as well. I've just realised I have the 18 up. Okay, let's get rid of that because I not need that. There'll be no sweating coming from 50. How much does it cost on Steam? Um, I think it's in the £35 mark, I think. I think. I'm not quite sure. I'm sure I got this when it was on offer. I definitely bought this when it was on offer because I would not have paid 30 odd pounds for this. So I, I believe I got it when it was on offer. There we go. And, and it's, it's, it's probably one of those games that's nice to play 
once you've got the majority of your tracks down and it's another one of those where as you're playing it and you are probably learning more about how to get the track straight and everything it's nice oh mr shy uh did you sort your issue out by the way with flights in did you ever sort it out oh god or was it you We need a bit of power. Oh, I took the brake off a bit of it. I must have done. I don't know how to sort it out, to be honest. Um, I'll look it up. I'll look it up for you at some stage. Right, so why are we not going back? Put a bit of power on so turn the regulator up drop that a bit higher oh okay let's be on a slight <laughs> gradient issue I downloaded the uh, fly-by wire the, uh, last night as well so I'm gonna have to look at that which means I'm gonna have to do a lot of things properly I'm gonna have to do a lot of things very accurate as well I looked at it today and I thought god damn I've got to do a lot of things right Right, let's go and pop the pin at the back of that. Let's have a look. Pop the pin there. I think we need to put a bit more fuel in this. Get the wrong key. So we're going to connect up now and then pull out to attach to the others. Bam, there we go. Totally not a cop. Oh my god. So totally not a cap cop. Thank you very very much. How the devil are you? <laughs> Why would you go that totally not a cop? So you are a policeman really then aren't you? That's what you're trying to say. You are a policeman really. Right. Brakes off on that one. Check the brakes on this one. Uh, I cannot conform nor deny. You wouldn't have, <coughs> <coughs> you wouldn't have a tag name like that unless you had something to do with the, the police. So I'm going to just do this one before we set off. And then we're going to set our route. So we're going to come out, which will, it will let us come out. We'll have to go all the way out there and then turn this switch to come back in this way. I'm going to set this up now. And we want to go on to this one. So we need to lock that. Let's have a look. Lock that one. Yeah, that's right. So it will take us down here and connect up to these two carriages. Yeah. And then we'll have to get some 
stock. Um, trying to, I'm trying to understand how to get the best grip on the track. So I'm trying to keep these regulators and the reverses as accurate as I can. So if that's... Oh, I have to take off, but... I used to watch you in 2007 and just got another PC. I'll be around. Oh, okay, totally not a call. Okay. I take it that you've changed your name, though, because I don't recognize the name at all. So I would assume that when you watched me then, I was probably a lot raw than I am now because not a lot's changed apart from my viewer count, my viewer numbers and things like that. But I still do the same stuff. <clears throat> oh, I'm the age. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, that's fine. That is absolutely fine, sir. <clears throat> but thank you for coming back as well. Thank you very much for coming back. I do appreciate that. I do appreciate it. <laughs> All the time. Do you know what? No, 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 Jimmy. I don't moan at chat. I moan at you. Yeah, not a problem. Thank you. I moan at you, Jimmy. There's a big difference there. I can tell you that now. Massive difference. I do like trains, I have to say. I like trains. <clears throat> right, so we'll pull up just here. Just get some brake ready. Is that Sasquatch? <clears throat> yeah, it is. It is. Coach is back. What is your favourite train station? <laughs> I don't... To be honest, you know, you're asking... Oh, that's... Do you know, that is a question. <clears throat> wow, what is my favourite train station? I don't... I don't really have one. been out hiding in the woods oh great <laughs> they're still looking for you by the way i'm just letting you know they are still looking for you there's been rumors there have been traces of your footsteps and they are still looking for you so you be careful if they find out you're in here they'll come looking for me i don't really have one to be honest um coach I, honestly i don't have one i've got to be honest there's no put me saying to you this this and this but no no Waterloo. Uh, no, I don't. I you. I don't know. I don't have one to be honest. Because although I say I like trains, I like train games. Who wouldn't like to watch train? Like I was saying before, when you were a kid and you used to get those little model steam engines that you could put water in and you can watch them. As as a kid, they always fascinated me. Kings Cross, Liverpool Station, Stamford Station, or. Great fourth train lovers, I think. But uh, you know what? You don't want to label yourself with a train spotter. Come on, guys. Come on. You don't want to label yourself with a train spotter. Do you? To be honest. Does a train spotter get the ladies? <laughs> <clears throat> it's all about the siding and the turntables where you can pack and swap tracks. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Right, let's just have a look that we are now set. So, we are set to come back in here. We'll travel down 
and we are set to go into this shunting area here we'll couple up to these we'll leave the train and then we will take this one out and we will pick up some i think it's going to be it's not core wood it'll be the lumber and we may have to pick up some beams because i think we're up to 160 something that we need to collect so if we can do that then we got we'll have 10 cars so we're at we're making around about 800 i think we're doing about 800 dollars a run so if we and it, it, look it's that's what it's going to be tonight guys we need to do as many runs as we can so that we can get another climax we get another climax we can then put it onto this one that we're using the areca for and move the areca over to the core wood and then there's no point me looking at getting the oil tanker the um iron carrier because i haven't even got there yet and i'm going to need a lot more money so the idea is if i can get the trains that i need and keep collecting the produce i'll build the money up so that i can then start laying the tracks to go to all the other areas oh god so much to do right so i think we're ready for this now just back this baby up but that looks like it'll be okay yeah that's fine come on come on betsy you can do it Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> and it's it's difficult, this is for me. Yeah, let me just clear my throat, guys, because feel, my throat feels really croggy. One second. That's better. Putting down new routes is uh, too fun in this game too fun in this game it ain't i haven't found none of this fun i found it a pain in the backside trying to get it level and trying to get it so it, it looks nice as well it's a pain in the backside if you find it fun you are a sick man no you are sick I found it. I don't rage quit on games, <clears throat> but this one, I've rage quit so many times. I've gone. That's it. I've had enough. I have had enough. Look at my turntable. Oh God. Honestly, I've literally. I don't rage quit on games, but this one, I have at least three times now. Because I've got. And do you know what I don't like about it? The physics. I was chopping trees down and because one of the trees was right by the track and I didn't move the train the whole train went everywhere the carriages went all over the place I was mad I was absolutely livid so we're going to come up to this one and I've already set the pin at the back so I should just be able to pull straight into that and couple up just slow this one down a bit jelly what's that Jelly Cushion. <laughs> I like that. Jelly Cushion. Right, let's slow this down. Slow it down. I don't want to knock them off the track, you see. A bit more. Bam, there we go. Cushion. Jelly Cushion. Oh yeah, uh, that flying tree thing is kind of funny though. It it is when the tree's on its own, and you you've put you put your groundworks down, you chop the tree and it spins and it goes up. That's fun, but not when it takes four carriages and tips the train over as well. I said Waterloo because I have met so many celebrities there all going to W H Smiths. <laughs> oh yeah. They got all that money and they want to go and shop at W. H. Smith's. Oh my God. I'm 
things we've had to, oh yeah it's the two right we are connected so uh, i think i lock these carriages yep yeah, that one oh they can stay locked actually because we're not going to take these out to be fair So that's staying there. Uh, we are going to... Right, how am I going to do this one now? Let's try this. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to... Train with Nick. Good evening, 50. I love that map overlay in the corner. Exclamation mark RROX, I think it is. And you can download it matey it's quite simple to you well if I can use it, it's quite simple to use there you go it's quite simple to use so we're going to disconnect here let's put that on lock there and we'll put the first one on lock as well because we're going to turn around we're going to come we're going to come down the outside track we're going to come down this outside track and then we're going to back up onto this one. Oh god oh gosh he can jump can't he and let's drop this one let's lock that one as well so we need to take oh no we're not we're actually not doing that are we we're not doing that 50 is getting so confused we're taking this one out I'm going to buy another climax aren't I let's check there already we're going to take this one out which is 10 carriages long oh god there we go right so we can take that one out now there has been talk that the new update might require us to put new track I tell if it does I won't play it I'll tell you that now if it does I'm sorry I will not play it <laughs> I am not going through all this hard work again awesome I have to try that once <clears throat> I'm moving to my new property and get up and running no not a problem mate I just hope you can have fun with it I am there is no way I am going through laying all this track again not a chance I find that very unfair when they do um, upgrades like that Right, so we'll let this build the pressure up. I find that very, very unfair when you spend all that time doing all this work and they go and say to you that you have to... I'd only want to relay really my route if it comes with a new map. Yeah, okay, all right, if it's a new map. But if you're doing this, no, I find that very unfair for people. Those that have worked hard. I have done. I have put some hours in on this game laying this track. I'm oh don't cry. I'm now up to 98 hours right so we're going to come down here we're going to go across we're going to pull up here again like we do and we're going to pick up all the beams and the lumbar we're going to pick up all the lumbar that's what we'll do let's just put that so I can see what's going off here we go <clears throat> I couldn't do it again not a chance no way Supposedly the new area <clears throat> will just be along the edge of the map we already have. Only heard about that. Not confession. Well I'll you can go I can go to the um forum, can't I? <clears throat> I can go to the forum and have a look. Come on, come on, come on. I've got no patience at times, you know. So we're set to go to the sawmill anyway and pick the stuff up. <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> 
if you'd have seen me when I was looking at that fly by wire plane though honestly Mr. Shah I was like this that means I'm gonna have to click this button do that button click this click that I, I ain't got time for that I just want to be able to take off and fly with the birds right nice and steady run guys and I think this one I set it to about let's go for 42 oh I tell you which one I don't think I've taken the break off <clears throat> that one okay Yeah, but I don't need to do things that real pilots do because I'm not. You get what I mean? I don't need to. Let the real pilots do their thing and let the amateurs enjoy themselves and crash. What? what there's no wrong in that. <laughs> it's all good fun, isn't it? You, you're telling me... <clears throat> you're telling me that you would... You would like to see me do a perfect flight or you would like to see me crash. I guarantee you would like to see me crash all day long. I promise you. So I fill your needs every day. Bit of both. <laughs> well, okay, for two for two for two weeks that I've flown, you've seen me do two good landings, okay? So on the next one I'll be flying the um King Air and probably the 208 Junker, yeah? Now, I haven't flown them for a while. The problem I'm going to have is cold starts and approaches. So I guarantee I will crash on one of those. I'm telling you, it will definitely happen. Oh, look at my turntable. I had the turntable on this track right here. Okay. And every time I was coming in to unload, it was tur it had turned slightly and I couldn't risk because of how long the carriage is I couldn't risk coming all the way over in reverse and not seeing it so I thought because it's only the train that I'm going to turn around I made a runoff and I kind of like where it sits and then I can turn the train around bring it out and reverse it back because I thought that would be a lot better than running the risk of as these carriages get longer, I'm not going to be able to see around this corner before long. And if I hit that and they derail, I've got a bigger problem. So I was kind of thinking ahead. Okay, let's put some power on now. Because my track, as you can look out, look out, the track's got a lot straighter. Oh God, look at that. And I've also made a runoff so that I can go all the way around and merge on the track here as well. Power! I have to turn it down a bit because the, the, the sound of the engine on, one of them sounds like bloody juggernaut. And if I hit this, it just helps me on I've got to sort this track out by the way guys so don't you know don't start having to go at 50 because it slows down I haven't done all the tracks I've done where I think it needs uh, correcting because otherwise like here you can see where the track kind of goes up on a gradient I think it's a gradient 2 and I need to get it down to a gradient 1 so it kind of flows Right, so I have to put a bit more power, a bit more revs. There we go. Just here, look. Just there. here I need to just check it down a little bit of break there we go so I'll be 
hopefully we should be okay. What does the whistle do? Right, okay, you know something? You can't ask me a question like that and literally be, uh, say, you can't. Look, what does the whistle do? <laughs> Come on. What does a nuclear bomb do? King Tim, what does a nuclear bomb do? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you didn't mean to put that in. I think you're talking to somebody else. You did not mean to put that in the chat, I'm sure. Right, so here's where the problem comes now because I've been doing this. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at all this. Right, let's have a look what we've got because I reckon that I can carry something in the region of eight, um, 80 odd. Oh, so we, I've clicked the wrong screen. We can pick all this up. Right, so we can pick all that up. Bit of break. I, if you'd have told me to do the whistle, I would have done it. Come on. Break. Oh, God, I can't see. You see how long the train is? You can't see a goddamn thing. Right, let me just work this one out here because some trees are going to have to go. I'm sorry about the environment, but they're going to have to go. I can't see. Some of these are going to have to be demolished. That one. Let's take that out of the way. That's not bad, so I can't see. That's not too bad to say I can't see, is it? Oh, Mr. T Welcome coming in with a party of 39. God. Thank you very much for reading the channel. The 50 plus gamer appreciate everything Good and every talking. one of you that come into the channel. Make sure if you get time, you just Drew, the how button. the devil are you? Much appreciated. Thank Mr. you, Mr. T You're for ready. that raid. Uh, how did your flight go, by the way? Uh, did you manage Welcome to land? Welcome to the 50 plus gamers channel. Sit back and get a drink Coolest and Ben Ben, stream. thank you very, very much for taking time to find that follow button. A thank you, a thank you, thank you. I've come to wind you up. Tokyo, when do you never not? <laughs> Honestly, when, when do you never not wind me up? That's all you ever do. Wiggles, hello, how the devil are you? Uh, my plane drifted, so I had to... Oh, okay. I had wind. Okay, yeah, I've got wind now. <laughs> Basically, it was crap ourselves on landing, I thought. He was going to ditch it. No, only joking. It was a good flight. Good landing. There you go, you see? Uh, you, do you, on, your, um, on your flights, Mr. T, do you save the VODs for those? Because I can watch the landing. If you save the VODs, then I can watch it back, can't I? If you don't, I can only go off what Torquil's saying. And I wouldn't trust Torquil with yours. To be honest. Normally, but I had a bit of music today. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, guess what? I played a bit of music yesterday. <laughs> it's Friday again. Saturday, Sunday, whoop! It's Friday again, and it didn't get muted or anything. So I think I'm quite safe playing that track. No, I think I'm safe playing that track because I don't normally play music. But on a Friday, 
was the win weather or flatulence? Uh, from me, it's flatulence. From T, I think it was weather. <laughs> Both. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. Only when you come in the channel, Tokyo. You make me nervous. And when you make me nervous, you give me wind. And when you give me wind, things happen. <laughs> yes, you do give a lot of hot air. Right. That's probably the most true thing you've ever said in this channel since you've been here. Uh, Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. Thank you. Guaz Pow. Oh, my God. Hello, guys. How are you? Right. This is the problem I've got now. I've got to try and work out how to line this up now. Because we have got extra carriages on. I can't see a thing. Okay. You see, this is where... Here we go. That should be quicker. If this is where... If you had... Come on! Let's do this! Come on! Have I got a break on somewhere? I must have a break on somewhere. Because that should move. <gasps> oh, God! Right, let's have a... I'm just going to check something. It's amazing how it can go that way yet it's in reverse okay let's do this then that's what it is a bit more power that's what it was it needed a little bit more pressure i think that should be about right a 50 a 50 a 50 oh thank you thank you thank you you got a big train 50. That's what they always says. I will, hello, my friend. I can't stay long, but I saw you were on. And to give you some support, have fun with it. Oh, thank you very much for that. I can't pronounce your name properly. Iral or something. I think it is Iral. Thank you very, very much for that. That's a nice comment. You dirty beggar. Me? God, I didn't go back far. Bugs for you. <laughs> I didn't go back far, guys. You see, this is what happens when it's so long. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Can I just check these? Because I think I've got a break on somewhere. Some of it just don't seem right. Like it's... um, It's just a bit sluggish. Um, that's weird more power is what's needed so how far do I have to go back by about half a car lol too long you can't park it correctly uh, see with a small one you can get of course you can get <laughs> I hope we're on about the same thing here Tokyo I know you said you were coming in to wind me up but you know let's hope we're on about the same thing here no it's not Right, so we need to go back. I have this problem all the time. Trains, yes, that's what I thought. Yeah, trains. Right, we don't have to go back that far. I think that's it. Are you sure it's the train that is sluggish and not your driver? <coughs> I'm not talking to you. I, I refuse to talk to you now, Jimmy. If I was you, I'd put my hand over your ears or your hands over your ears and not say nothing for the rest of the stream. That's it now. Oh, come on. Bloody, look at this. Oh, come on, game. I use wooden bridges placed at the ground level to mark points for every two car lengths uh, when loading in single player. Now, <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> I won't do that because I, I, I kind of, 
I kind of feel the fun of it, and I think the way the game is, is to try and judge the distance. Now, you're right what you're saying, because people will do what they want to make things right. But I normally, I do normally get this right, don't I, guys? Be honest, I do normally get this right. Which is why I load from the back rather than the front. Because as I get closer, I can judge the distance better. Uh, wouldn't be better to load... Do you know what, coach? I've just explained... I've just literally explained that, haven't I? <laughs> I've just explained that. There we go. We got it. Oh, no. Right, we're losing that one. I can't do it. I was loading... No, 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 no. You're not a little slow. No, don't do things like that. I uh, originally... I was loading from the front, but then you still have the problem where... My son is still awake. You, uh, you have the problem where, as you get further away, you can't see it. So what I did, I thought to myself, if I load from the hardest part, which is the back, and work my way down, I'll get better. But it doesn't work like that. It just doesn't. It's just one of those things where, do you know what? It's trial and error all the way. That's all it is. I'll get there. Oh, we'd go back a little bit more. I think that is right. No, in fact... Yeah, that's right. I think it's trial and error. Inside track. I'll give you inside tracks. I'll give you inside goddamn tracks. Right, well, we've done it now anyway. We've done it. There we go. We've done it. No, read it all 50. Funny you said that when I learned to drive buses, we had markers on the side bumpers text. Text with white, so we knew where the back of the bus was. The back of the bus is when reversing parking and examiner said to me, uh, you wits and doesn't, funny enough, never fear to reverse and park. Well, I don't know because when I learned to drive, it had the rear winds, wind, windscreen wiper and it was a square box and the wiper was on it <clears throat> and my instructor said use the corner of the box to line up with the curb and if you keep that level you'll be able to reverse properly and when I first started driving I used to be this happens to a lot of people guys and I, I hopefully this can help you when I used to be driving, when I first started driving in my driving test, I used to always veer over to the white line. And the, the driving instructor used to get on the steering wheel and turn it and try and keep you on track. Yeah. And he said, the reason why that is happening is because you are looking at the road. Yeah. Now, he said, if you look straight ahead and just drive, you won't veer over. So it took me a while to learn that. And then you actually, it's, it's a true statement, this is. It actually does work if you're looking ahead rather than trying to look. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep it within that line. Like that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. But if you just look and drive, you're fine. You know, so for all you guys that are learning to drive, I hope that helps. And you heard it here first on the 50 Plus Gamers channel. So all donations go to the 50 Plus Gamer at twitch.tv. It's okay. <laughs> but we'll get there as I go. As I go further down, we'll get there. This will work. And I've kind of said that the, all I can carry is 10. I can only manage 10 cars in single player because... Anything over that is far too much. It's just far too much. And this loading sequence. Oh, come on, please. And I've heard that some people have got 30, 30 cars at this. I, I just don't believe it. Thirty cars. You definitely cannot be playing that on single player. That would you'd never be able to do. It. Well, you probably would, but it'd take you forever, especially loading. 
okay right so let's look at this now get this camera set right see what i was doing before you see the show uh, yeah you guys have got just as good a view as me the shadow there's a shadow on the platform and what i was doing was that shadow see if it there you go it's going was giving me an indication of where this carriage is because it's the shadow of that block so when that hits halfway at the bottom i was using that as my point of <clears throat> break out there let's have a look if that worked this time oh god imagine real train driver with one yeah that's what i'm saying and believe it or not it works so that's what i was doing before using the shadow oh look at that that's perfect oh 50 oh 50 you're so fun you're so fun you blow my mind here 50 oh 50 you see so there's all different ways that you can use to load the carriage whether you want to put beams down whether you want to count these here it's it's all up to you how you want to do it but when this gets loaded up it creates a shadow just here so i think but i can only do it when i'm close so probably after what four cars that's the only time i can do it but i think with the update there might be some oh i heard they're going to put signs as well so can you imagine if they're going to put signs you could put a sign there and when your car gets near the sign you know that you're two cars away and i've also heard that they're going to automate the loading because this <laughs> the amount of time i get the amount of times you have to click and click and click to get it to load Right, so we're nearly there. There's no point me going any faster when I'm loading, to be fair, as well. It doesn't make much sense. What was that? You can tell the devs the devs are American. Um I don't know I don't think they are, you know. Well I would say yeah, I would say they are. Yeah. I would say they are if it's uh, you can tell by the uh, currency, can't you? Yeah, you can tell by the currency. See, that kind of works well for me. American steam trains are horrible compared to UK ones. Um, oh, I you see, I don't know because I, I like all types of steam trains, to be honest. The Flying Scotsman, iconic, yeah. When you look at some of these, I just think they look nice for steam engines. I just like any kind of steam engine. I think they're all nice. I know you get some ugly looking ones. I get that. But the majority of steam engines, I know the British did that one design, didn't they? Which mainly had, you know, the long snout, large wheels to the small wheels and the big, what do they call it, chimney stacks. But I do like some of the American ones as well, I've got to say. Uh, the most famous American is Big Boy. Never heard of it. There you go. See, never heard of it. So because you said that, and I've never heard of it. So if I go American Steam Train Big Boy. Let's have a look. Oh, 
right, yeah, now there you go, look. Uh, Union Pacific, oh my good God, now that is not, you see, this is the difference, right? That looks nice. That's the difference. This looks really, really nice. And that's what I like about it. Now that is a, that is, I mean, even looking at the Flying Scotsman, that looks, I wish they had something like that in this game, you know. Could you imagine if they brought that to this game? Wow, that would be absolutely amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. It is an absolutely lovely looking train, it really is. And if they brought that to this game, if they did that, that would be amazing. I mean, they'd have to get copyrights and stuff, but it's a monster. I, I tell you what, I'd love to have a go in it. Honestly, Vonkel, I'd love to have a go in that. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Oh gosh, right, we're nearly there now, guys. I apologize for the um, long loading, but we are nearly there now. Just be fortunate that I'm only loading 10 carriages. <laughs> this is just 10 carriages. Actually, is it not? No, I think this is only nine. Danger engaged. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. I nearly missed me stop then. Nearly missed me stop there, danger. Nearly missed me stop there, bud. Um, honestly, everything's going really good. <clears throat> Everything is going fine, sir. How about you? How are you? I haven't spoke to you for a while. I know that for definite. IRL is keeping a lot of people away from Twitch. Right, how many we got left? So we've got 13 after these two go on. Well, in fact, when these have gone on, we're only going to have about six. Oh, God. All great chilling out now. Good. That's the best way to do it. Especially on a Saturday night. How many of you guys... How many of you guys are still going out and doing the norm? I know they said that COVID's, you know... Oh, sorry. COVID doesn't exist anymore. But how many of you are actually going out and doing the norm in the day and things like that? Don't get me wrong, Flying Scotsman is a lovely train, but I do like uh, a saddle tank. I do normal things. You say, I don't. What's normal? Exactly, danger. I don't, you see. I still don't. And you think to yourself, uh, for 18 months that we've been incarcerated, let, do you say, I'll use that word. Twitch is my saviour at the moment. I'm supposed to be in process of packing and moving but i woke up feeling like rubbish which is good this morning i'm in ten, indeed tested positive for COVID. oh my god <laughs> you saw I me mean? it makes me laugh you see because I, lo I love the way that at the moment they've turned around and said that you know covid don't exist anymore now you can all go out and do your own things and everybody can go and kiss hug and snog each other to bits you know what i mean and where i work We've had quite a few people go down with COVID, which was far more than had COVID when COVID was a massive issue. So I don't know. Well, nothing really changed for me with a disabled wife still spend most of the days indoors. Do you know what, Torquil? And I suppose in a way, it, it, if that's the norm for you, then, you know, things wouldn't have. Indeed, there are new variants. Uh, yeah, and that's what they're saying. Now, what if... What if, oh, Defo's still out there. What if a variant comes across that is more contagious than the Delta one, which they were on about that time? What happens then? Because all the hospitals aren't gonna be able to cope now because half the stuff around COVID is, is they'll have got rid of it, wouldn't they? Or they'd have gone, do you know what? We don't need this now. Let's, let, let, let's sell it off and make some money. Right, okay, so we've got carriages filled. I just wanna work out how many carriages I've got here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there is ten on here. Oh my god. Right, let's do this. 
So now we've got to set this so that we can go back. Oh, before we do this, let's set the route because I know what I'm like. Oh, DevX. <laughs> I, did, I didn't want to bother you guys in Discord, you know, that's it. It's all gone hush hush, I know. I'll tell you what I'll do, DevX, just so you can talk to me. Because I want to know what happened to you last night. Oh, God, we're all... Did you have issues? Oh, doing the flight sim. Oh, they're all flying. Bear with me a second, guys. Hello? So what? Hello. <laughs> Seriously. It happens, Lord. It just happens, mate. We did miss you there, but it, it, it happens. It was a nice flight. I'll mute myself, but I'll stay here, guys, yeah. No, I have to mute myself because I'm streaming. <laughs> no, they can't hear you. It's okay, it's fine. I asked them, you have to I always know about Dan. But I'll say hello, Dan. Joe, how are you? Right, and I know Dev's fine, he spoke to me. I'm gonna mute myself, guys. <laughs> oh dear, honestly. They're all in Discord doing the thing. Uh maybe at some point you consider solvent green if you oh yeah, right. Honestly. Pavlin, how the devil are you? <laughs> right, so I'm just setting the route back now. So we've picked up, we're fully loaded here. We're then going to go back. And we need to sell this in the depot. So that's the new route that I've created. But what I'm going to do is go straight down into here and obviously if we leave this as a layoff route as well we can sell everything as we go through so we're set to go straight in yeah we're set to go straight in that's fine uh, th this these bits here are just where i've got track underneath which i just haven't because i relayed most of the track and thought i'm not going to take the other stuff up right okay so i think we're okay for that now we are okay so we've got the right speed i think at the moment to get us around the bend let's go <clears throat> and it's all about momentum here we go look i was one out on my figures i said six didn't i and look at all the beams we've got. The difference with the beams that are, that's a little bit annoying is each carriage only carries three beams. So the, look how many we've got. We've got 100. That's like 20 journeys. Now, hang on a minute. It'll be about five journeys we'll have to take for 10 carriages. Right, let's get this thing powered up. Okay. <clears throat> Does anybody know if I can have a train on the back which will push and pull depending on what this engine does at the front? I don't know if they've implement implemented that in the game to give you a bit more power. I've heard some people say that they've seen some people have got like two carriages. No idea. Well, that you should have just not said nothing then, Torquil. <laughs> you ask, I answered. Only for those people that had an answer. That's neither an answer or anything, is it? <laughs> trying to learn the track as well so I know where to put the right speed as well.
because I know there's a bit of a gradient here where it normally slows down, uh, speeds up. When it gets to the top, right there it goes, look. And I start taking it down. Don't get argumentative with me, you know, Tokyo. Right, there we go. So I should now be able to travel the whole distance like this. That's like when people say, where are you going? And you say, for a sh <laughs> And they respond, I don't want to know that. Yeah, but it's an answer. Yeah, but it's too much. Do you get where I mean? <laughs> Trust you to come out with something like that as well. <laughs> right, just so that I can see. So I'm cut, so we got the turn here. So we're right in slowing down. Not really. Ask a question, you answer it. Yeah, okay, I, and I agree with you. I agree with you, but I'm just saying that there are certain times when some answers are not necessarily required in that format. I do that sometimes, so I'm kind of contradicting myself as well. Here we go, look. And same way, so I can ask you silly questions. And you, yeah, you ask me a lot of silly questions. Oh no, what up? Oh, I thought I was going. Oh dear, I thought I was going down here. I've got to get used to this new track layout, and these trees need to go along here. Which I think we'll do now. Yeah, we'll get rid of them now. Yeah, them, they need to go. I think that train will stop eventually. Now, let's hope it doesn't derail any trains. This is what happened to me last time. I just want this area to be clear so I can see from all angles as they say there we go that'll do and that one will need to go <clears throat> oh that's better although one tree didn't actually fall So I always ask the question, how are people doing this with all those trade all those trailers? It's a bit of a difference in level there look. I only run nine cars personally on my track or ten in case of yeah that well that's all I'm doing at the moment you see I can only do this amount I can't do any more than that it's just too much because you can't because the way the game the way the game shows the distance it's just not realistic and I always either overrun or cut it short like the shadow is there I know I can go back a little bit more. Right, there we go. And this is how long this train is. It's just... And I'll bet that I can get another carriage at the back. See? I always do this. You can get... You could get another carriage. You could go back another carriage. So we'll get that lot done. I 
I found a new way to offload the wagon without getting in the way as well. So long as you see the arrow as well, just for those guys, so long as you see the arrow, you will get paid for it. If you do not see the arrow, do not offload. I made that mistake. It just literally loses the um, stock. You don't get nothing for it. So always be mindful that when you're offloading that you see that arrow. I made that mistake so many times. So because we've got this set now to go straight back on the overflow, we should be okay and we shouldn't, um, let's get it in reverse, that would help. Leave me uh, that little 5%. I've seen others cheat and let the train crawl through whilst unloading. Oh! I don't know if it's cheating. I suppose it's a good way of doing it. I wouldn't really say it's cheating. It's probably just... I, the only thing I class as cheating is when you are using something in the game that isn't necessarily developed in the game. So really... People could say to me, I'm cheating because I'm using this to see my track. When originally in the game, you're supposed to use this. If I hit that, you spoke come on, you're supposed to use this. But for the life of me, I cannot understand how a developer can make a game and say to you, you've got to get to each one of these points, but we're not going to show you the track once you've laid it. But we're going to show you the smelter, we're going to show you the sawmill, we're going to show you the freight depot, but we're not going to show you the track. That, to me, doesn't make any sense whatsoever. No matter how many, if, even if somebody was to explain it to me, I would still go, no, it doesn't make any sense. Because if you build a track to go somewhere, you want to see your track on the map. To be fair. But I don't know, it just um, it just baffles me how they've done it like this. But the devs are the devs, they have their reasons. They have their reasons for doing everything. Oh God. Right, we got an error. We got the error. And another thing as well. The price of this stuff is so goddamn cheap. There's a new game called Loco, which uses a similar gameplay style to this, but it's much less developed and even their map shows the track you have laid, which is understandable. I, I just don't, I, I really don't get it. Right, what did we make? So we got, we're at five. We're at five hundred. So let's just say that. So theoretically, we did. We're getting about. I would say we're getting about eight hundred dollars per carriage. We're getting eight hundred dollars per load. I would say, with ten cars. Um, there's going to be a fair few journeys there. To be honest, I can't really put any more cars on. I could probably. If we get to enough money, I could make, uh, get another um, Climax and I could put another 10 on because I can hold, according to my specifications on here, I can hold six engines so that I can have them for the majority of how many engines do they do? I think I worked it out on the engines that they do. I worked it out on the majority of the engines. So we've got, let's, let's ignore that one because that's my shunter. 72 per car, is that it? Wow. So I didn't even bother with that one. The Eureka's not too bad, but I rate this one. The reason I rate this one is because it holds a constant power. So what have we just been through? Let's have a look. 
ignore that one so you've got one two three four five Right, so you've got five. Okay, so I'm writing what I was thinking. So I can hold the majority of the top trains, which is what I'm after. <laughs> Still trying to achieve class. I've got it. I'm not trying to achieve anything. I've got it in here. <laughs> 32 per car, logs bring 60. that's beams but i'm sure i'm sure lumber brings in more logs bring in 60 per car i'll have to wiki all this so i can get the thing is Right, let's have a look at this again because we're going back out i think we should be all right to go straight there pick some more up see the difference is the only difference for me is i really don't enjoy bringing the beams back because you don't get a great deal of money for them so if it's 32 per car fine. yeah so you're getting the bats That's thirty. It's nine to eight to. So you're not getting a lot for that, then, are you? Nothing actually brings you in a crazy amount of money. Nothing. So the best thing to do, I'm sure lumber. Lumber we said was lumber. We said was seventy two, didn't we? So the best thing to bring in is lumber, isn't it? Really. Logs, you only get, you only go in a short distance with. I think what I ought to do, I think what I ought to do is, I wonder if you can make a circular train that constantly loads stuff by one person and unloads. Now, you see, either that or Corwood at 80 per car. Oh, it's Corwood 80. Yeah, but the difference with Corwood, though, Corwood goes over to the, um, is it goes over to the oil mill, the oil refinery. Corwood goes over to the oil refinery, though, don't you, if I remember rightly. Or can you, you can sell it here, can't you, Corwood? So you can sell Corwood here as well, but you get the same price, 80. Right, okay, so if that's the case, we can look at that as well. Because we can definitely pick Corwood up, can't we, guys? Because we can sell everything here, if I remember rightly. So we need to get... What have we got at the moment? I think we've only got four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know what? I haven't played that for so long, you know, Aidy. Corwood is in the Black Forest. It is as well, you're right. Right, so we've got four. Right, so we've got two, three, we've got four. Um, what can I... The three, only two seventy five. That's five hundred. <clears throat> so a thousand is going to give us four. So if we spend a thousand, that's going to give us four, which is going to leave us with two hundred and thirty nine. We do another run. We're still going to get over a grand, aren't we? Corwood is used <clears throat> by the smelter or 
firewood yeah i've used it for firewood already beams are useful for transporting uh, to the oil field iron ore and coal mine when you get there yeah which i will get to eventually Von kill how the devil are you hi 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 but what i'm trying to say is uh yeah devs promised some more content ice cave and stuff what i'm saying is i just want an answer on one thing i can get the core wood bring it here sell it at the depot and get it for 80 dollars a car that's all i need to know because you can sell core wood here right thank you that's all i needed to know so i might as well spend the money and get the four carriages that i need here because we can collect core wood bring it down and profit from that i'm trying to look at the produce that is going to give me the most money so that i can work up to getting the tracks and everything ready for the next level right so we've got four so we should have Oh, come on, game. What's going off? Here we go. Something happened to the game. Right, so. We've got the four over there. We've also got an extra one to put on here, which will give put this one to ten. Uh, and then we're only going to need two more, which will put us on ten core wood, ten logs, and ten lumber and, and beams so we're practically there um i'm going to do another run i'm going to do another run on lumber well it's going to have to be lumber and um beams and then we're going to come back and shunt these and then we can do some logs time prevailing that's what i'll say i think what takes me longer in this is because i am doing it solo guys so i think you're Bear with me on that one anyway. Get this already. And I think we're ready to go straight out anyway. Let's just have a quick, just have a quick look. I just don't understand how you cannot access this bloody map from inside the cab. Right, so we'll go straight out. Uh, well, I think we're already, I think I've already set this. Uh, I don't think you have to move beams anymore. Uh, the production chain apparently just doubles up to lumber beams. I have played since the update to confirm though no i think what i'm what i think what i'm trying to say is if i run out of beams uh sorry if i run out of lumber i can only pick the beams up until i bring more logs down can't i so if i'm going to go there and i've only got a carriage of uh, lumber i'm then going to want to bring the beams back so i'm not going to want to come back empty-handed if you understand because there's no point me going up i could you get, I could go, I could go up to the top because I've made it so I can do, oh, thank you. I've made it so that I can do a complete loop. So I could go up to the logs, bring the logs down, go back round, fill up and reverse back. But the idea of that is I'm still only going to be picking up what the sawmill is producing straight away and the best thing to pick up like we've just discussed is the lumber because it's 72 where the beams are only 30 to 35 or 32 so i think the best thing to do is empty the sawmill of what it's produced and then i can just do a continuous loop going with the logs backwards and forwards until i fill it up again uh, that way i feel I'm making 
progress on the money because I only need to get two more trains. Then whatever I'm picking up after that, I only because the other carriages are one thousand. The, the large carriages that I need are about eight hundred to one thousand five hundred, and I don't have that money until I've got all the trains. So I'm trying to look at a, a way of making the cash in order to do this. And, and I like the grind, and I've still got to lay the track. So, guys, one Sunday you are going to be bored to tears while 50 lays tracks and tries to find his way around this goddamn map. You'll, and, and I tell you something, guys, I will rage quit. I promise you. I promise you I will rage quit. Because this game, right, we need a bit of power here. Come on. Oh, did I put a... Oh, I know what I did. I think I've got a brake on. I think I put a brake on, didn't I? I think I did. I always wonder why it doesn't want to shift straight away. I find this game, as far as playing this game, I kind of feel I'm more chilled out when I'm streaming it than I am when I'm playing it on my own. <laughs> so weird. When I'm playing it on my own, I think I'm, I'm, I'm like trying to get this done quick, trying to get that done. No, oh, it's just a train itself. I'm just not putting the power. Uh, the brake's not on. It's the tender. Yeah, I know what it is. It's me. I need to give it a lot more power here and here. Just to get it to shift. Let's go the right way. Yeah. That's all it is. I just don't give it enough power to set it off. Because I don't really want to go running down the track too quick. Railworld Online is a very nice and a cozy game. I think it's lovely. I've got to be honest. I really do. And if, it, again, if it's played... Well, I mean, you, I, I know you guys like watching it. I, I, I get that, and, and I understand that. But I think it's more to do with the fact that we all like trains. That's the thing. We all like trains. And it's a well-put-together game. You know, the physics are quite crazy at times, but it's a well-put-together game. The track laying... If you can lay your ground... If you can lay your ground um, services, you're fine. And I now have found a way of laying straight tracks and keeping it level as well, believe it or not. So that's kind of helped me a little bit. So I will eventually sort that issue out I've got further down the track here. When I can be bothered. <laughs> but I will get it sorted. Yeah, we're all clear. I just have to make sure that where I see the red, it's not on the main line. And I know we're okay. We're okay to go through. So as soon as we've passed, I can set these for when we come back now, you see. If it lets me. There we go. So that's set for when we come back. No, it's not. Yeah, that's already set. I'm amazed at your patience with laying tracks and grading the slopes. It, I've not done it that good though, to be honest, Ray. I haven't done it that well, because when we get here, I was trying to do this one the other day, and honestly, I was getting annoyed with it. So, because I didn't save the game, I went back to do the save, because I ripped all this out. I ripped it all out, because just here, there's a dip, and then it goes up to about a gradient one. And you can hear it, you can hear the train slowly slow down. But it's actually the land that's that that's the problem. And if I carry this gradient all the way down, it's too high when I get to the other side. So you can't win at times. Right here now look. You just can't win. So as so long as the train can get up there and bring stuff back, because it's only ever going that way empty. And I'm happy. I'm not going to lose sleep over something I don't have to, you know, fix or worry about. 
I redid the whole of this corner. You can see how smooth it is now. I redid the whole thing. Because I wasn't happy. I redid all this. Because look how straight that track is now going down. Compared to last time. So I've been working hard on this. And I kind of feel if I have to redo this when they do an update. Oh my god I am going to be peed. I am going to be so peed. And I redid all that corner as well. Listen, I'll tell you something, story chick. Get the frig out of here, Mr. Perfect. You did not. I saw you. You need to show me what you've done. <laughs> you are such a pleb. <laughs> Mr. Perfect, story chick did it right the first time. Oh, God. I've watched guys on YouTube, yeah, and they even admitted that they didn't get it right the first time. Listen, but uh, stop it. You can pack that in straight away, all of you. Pack it in. I remember you doing that junction at two different... Uh, thank you. Yes, one was going... I did one going straight up, didn't I? Which was a massive problem. Okay. So what I did, I cut that away. Then I did one going a different direction. And I thought, you know what? I'll carry straight on from here and go all the way. So what I've done now is... When I'm coming down with logs... I've made it so that I can go completely round and come back across here and carry on and just fill that sawmill up with logs. That's what I've done. So that once it's full of logs, I only have to do a journey from the depot down to the sawmill and back because there's no point going around. Eventually, I don't mind uh, admitting that my first route over six hours to be able to section which is disconnected as well yeah because you, you you know i mean i've done this and, and you try don't you you try you try oh god this is so goddamn long i could not have got this right first time anyway because to be fair i didn't know where i was going i had no idea what i was doing so i'd never have got this right first time no way Right, we need to get these, um, I think I've only got one, no, how, seven. So I'll be able to fill one car and I'm going to leave one at the back. So if we do, right, did we work this one out? Right, I'm going to stop there. Stop. Oh God, it's so goddamn long. I'm going to stop here and hopefully we should be right. six hours though god damn right i'm gonna i'm gonna try this one because if i lose one i don't oh gonna is it gonna work oh great i'll do that i'll keep doing that because it's on the back end it's took it it took it we're off we're slightly off but it took it oh come on game come on game At least we've got the back end filled up, which is going to give me a shadow. I don't, that, that might help. Let's just try that. If it puts it on the end there, I've lost one. Oh, you bugger. No, I'm not doing that again. I've lost one. Because when I go for the uh, planks, it's going to wipe that one out. Does it put it back? I think it does. I think it puts it back. I'm not sure. Right, 
Right, okay. It is so... <coughs> <coughs> so far. Oh, God. I need to stop smoking, you know, don't I, guys, to be honest. Not doing me any good. Right. Let's do this. So if we do it on 22 at that, that should be... I stopped two years ago. I'm trying. I mean, look, I'll have this in a minute. I've got one here and I'll have it in a minute, but I kind of, I kind of think it's more habit for me than anything. It kind of chills me out. Chat shouldn't wind me up. That's what the problem is. <laughs> oh, we can go back more. Look at that. See, because I can't see the shadow, go back a lot more. And to be fair, I've got to go back all the way to the beams uh the beams only the carriages only hold three beams per carriage anyway right so we're looking okay i need to get rid of these trees here as well yeah they need to go so these trees from here all them need to go so i can get a better angle Well, as train don't stop in time. Right, we can. Right, I can see the shadow now. We can go back a bit. I can see the shadow. Eight percent. It's a lot. We want to stop there. A bit more. That should be right. Time for me to head off. My head is starting to feel thick and stuffy. Take care and all catch you again soon, hopefully when I'm in a new place. Nice. Um, trains with Nick. Thank you very, very much. It has been an absolute pleasure. Right, that should work. That should. Yeah, that's spot on. So that shadow thing works for me quite well. I'm happy with that. Get this loaded a lot quicker because we aren't doing as much. Okay, they don't give so much of a... Uh... Why did that one not load? This game! God damn! Now do you understand why I'm asking? That all you have to do is go to the platform, click probably something here, and it loads the wagon. That's all we're asking for. That's all we want. But to have to keep clicking for each load it's monotonous right so I can see the shadow now I played loads of games because I do the simulation side of things and any game that I've played where you're loading something up has always had uh, some form of auto load or something or you have the option I think to be fair even in early access 
it should have given, given you the option to, you know, want to click, want to click, or complete the loaded. Yeah, I've got this right now. It's nice, because it would be nice to just sit here, watch it load, go back, reverse it back. I think that's a good uh, format, that is. But when you're having to click, and if you misclick, and you're halfway, or just imagine, you got... 30 well I, I suppose the idea is that the majority of people that are playing this and they've got something like 30 odd carriages they're probably playing it with four or five players to be fair because even like what's been said in the chat i'm just making sure that that's even like what's been said in the chat if you're gonna you know have anything like 15 cars and you're on your own could you imagine just trying to load them all up It's always going to be a problem in the sense that you'd be thinking, God damn, how many times am I clicking this button? Let's put a bit on there. can't stand in just that place where you can hit both just get out tried every single trick on this game you can stand there if you pull back try to work out where you can pull back and it highlights oh there we go i've got it i got the sweet spot <laughs> so i found the sweet spot there we go i was looking for the sweet spot you see where you can do both without having to keep running up and down Too bad you can't mark that sweet spot plank. No, I can what you call it. You can do this, can't you? You only have to do that. In fact, that should be it straight away. Do you know what I mean? As soon as you hit the first light on that, you know you're in the sweet spot. Well, okay, I thought I was. I thought I was. Was I not in the sweet spot there? Look. Yeah, I am. There we go. Just have to make sure I hit the sweet spot on the wheel now. <laughs> So it's that centerpiece there, look. We got there. And look, I've still got 70 watt. There's going to be 76. Wow. Look at that. We'll take one car extra when we go back. So we'll take one car extra when we get back. If I click the, the attitude, I the, the thing I would like around this. If I click that three times, it would load three. If when you're doing the other lumber and you click it six times, it would load six. 
That's what I would like to see. Or when you click it, it gives you an option for how many to load. A little box and you just put six in or three and it loads them. That's what I want to see. I'm going to be watching this game for the next updates. So we are now fully loaded with, uh, you know what, while I'm here, let's take some trees down. Let's just take some, let's just do some. So I ain't got to think about that next time. <clears throat> right, so this is where my blind spot is. Right, so at least I can see around that corner. And I think... Mr. Doghouse, you do not have to do that, sir. The underscore How the dog devil house are you? Underscore gaming cheers. X50. How the Heading devil to bed are you? Good show is always make the dog six poor. <laughs> oh, dear. How are you anyway, mate? Right, so we're now fully loaded. Oh, God. Fully loaded and done. Right, there we go. Give this gentleman. I don't think I've got a mod. Uh, I think I'm doing it. I'll probably do it wrong anyway. How many underscores in your bloody what you call it name? <laughs> if I get it wrong, I'll be so mad with myself and I'll moan at the mods. Oh, I got it right. God damn 50, you are so good. Oh dear. Euro truck. Okay, nice. Nice. Right, okay, guys, we're going to go back with this now. And then we'll see what we make off that. Let's get a bit of power here. Oh, I tell you what we need to do as well. I've just seen that. We need to get a little bit more wood to give some... There we go, 99. There we go, we are good now. We are all good. <laughs> right, so I think we're all set to go straight back in again, aren't we? We'll just check. Yeah, we set, we're good to go straight in and sell. Yeah, straight down, straight across. Yeah, we're all good. We are all good. Right, let's get some power. Not too much on that bend. <clears throat> so the difference now, the, the best thing about it now is I... I, I I'm going to hate saying this, but I haven't had an issue on the track at the moment, which is a good thing. Now, when I start looking at the other, the other stuff, because you have to change the track, I think, for some of the other stuff that you pick up. So that's not too bad, even on that grade one. Right, let's slow that down a bit. And I don't know if the sound works. Do a barrel roll. Oh yeah, okay, I'll get one done for you right now. 
What a comment. You know what, I'm, I'm starting to enjoy this now, you know. All of a sudden somebody said do a barrel and I'm starting to want to drink more. <laughs> Yeah. There you go, look. It's a desperado, sir. Only the best. Only the best for me. Right, so we can start to slow down now. Bit of break. As we come around this bend, should be good at that. We're coming into the yard. kind of go back just a little bit further because I always undercut this don't I I'm going to go there I think I've overshot it but I've just overshot that a little bit have a look oh gosh oh, God, I'm still short it doesn't matter what I do I'm still short so we can get the extra cars Out of steam there. So we can get the extra cars, which is gonna. I think we only needed two, didn't we? Now, and we're gonna shunt those in. Shunt those extra cars in as well, and then start looking at filling up. Right, what's that going to have given us now, look? Here we go. So I think we had 414, wasn't it, we had? See, so we got to 1,134. So theoretically, we can class that as giving us just, just over 600 we got off that load, which is not too bad. Um, we need to shunt those vehicles in now, so we'll do that. We will do a bit of shunt. I enjoy the shunting, to be fair, guys. I've got to be honest. I enjoy it so much. So let's have a look where we're going to put this. So, okay. This one we'll put straight back. We're going to have to bring that one forward. He can get those 
there'll be six carriages now, won't there? What we got? One, two, three, four, five. No, so there'll be five carriages that we need to get. That will give us ten on those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need to bring that other one. So if he brings the other one over, now we'll do these first because it will clear the path for the other one to go onto the logs. Then we've got ten on each train that we've got. Yeah. So get this one right. That's open. Can shut that one anyway leave that one open so it can just reverse straight back in and then we'll sort this one out because he's facing the wrong way okay we'll do that later All right this is why i like the shunting it gets me thinking All right stay in reverse let's take this baby back I always remember when I was younger as well, you know, we used to go on school trips. We went on a school trip to a train yard. And these kids were climbing all over the trains and everything. Just something about trains. It's like the same thing, trains, planes and automobiles. It's just something about them. And I think it's because it's a, it's a moving mechanical thing. I think that's what the attraction is. big moving mechanic <laughs> do you know what how can you story chick turn that into something crude hey eh? how do you do it how do you turn that into something crude i want to go as far as we can back a little bit more there we go just check that one as well how do you turn it into something Really rude. I've got to put some, um, I've got to continue. I should have done it before I put this on. I've got to continue the foundations down there. I could go back a bit further, but the idea is I want to run a track off and get another one down here as a, a runoff. So the idea is if I get me signs, my signs will be there so I know how far to go back. But that should be okay. Although we're going to put another car on it. I think that's, it should be okay. I think the only thing I have to worry about at the moment is that these guys can pass. Yeah, as long as he's on that track, we can st he can still be about here with another car as long as they can pass their tracks to go in so we need to take the shunter so what I need to do is disconnect this one here <clears throat> so I need to disconnect Arika which he is disconnected and we need to connect Betsy. Disconnect Betsy. Tell you what, while Betsy's disconnecting, we can it's definitely going to have no fuel in it. That should be enough. Oh, so it not take too long. Um, we can, I think I'm going to have to fill Eureka up as well. Eureka! Oh, come on. I think Eureka's going to need filling up as well. Oh, not by much. Still, water's still warm. The water is still warm. I 
let's have a look yeah there we go so we can move Rika straight away let's have a look what we're going to do here now so we open that one so she can go straight onto that okay let's see if this works any more power oh come on a bit more no 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 I just don't want to this thing it's got quite a bit of power on it this one And I just need to make sure that that's completely straight as well when I get to the end of it. Because I'm going to turn her around and bring her down this one. Nice and steady does it, Climax. Let's hope we get no issues with this turn tip. That piece of wood's a little bit close, isn't it, to be honest? Welcome to the 50 Plus Gamers channel. Sit back and get a drink and enjoy the stream. Right, there we go. Black coffee. Oh, how the devil are you? Hello, hello, hello. Right, so we've managed to do this. Now we've got to check if this is going to work. So we need to straight away do that. Make sure it's clear here, here, here. So that we can go back down and put her on there. Um, I've got to think how I'm going to do this. Yeah, no problem, Solar Box. What I'm trying to, oh, I've got to get rid of that. What I'm trying to work out now is. Oh, I know what the best thing to do on. Um, trying to think. No, what I could have done, if I think positive here, uh, that's going to take her uh, right out of the way. I'm just trying to work out the best way to do this. Because the idea is I've got to get a train. If I reverse her down here, <coughs> puts her back here. Oh, that's right. <coughs> <coughs> then... I can go on here and turn her around, then she can reverse up. But I'll park her here for the time being until I've moved those back over. I'm trying to think if it's worth I can't do a runoff here. I tried to do a runoff here. So that if I'd have turned around, she'd have only had to to go that way but it's the distance through here that I'm, I'm worrying about yeah oh that it is a shorter route so i'm going to try and extend this from here i can't get it to connect to there because the bend's too much so i could have done this or something like that but the bend was just too much it's too sharp on here because where that's heading can't make the turn on here It is what it is. We'll do it that way. We'll go straight down all the way. 
take her there and then bring her park her up here because we can turn her around on here but I've got no access from here to that track I'm trying to think if it's worth putting a line probably from here just connecting to there so that I haven't got to go as far down to turn it around but on the shunting area this is right having this that way or to be honest I could be quicker going now it doesn't matter I'm just confusing myself here so we're going to turn turn her around up here she's going to have to go all the way out and come back in yeah that'll be easier I've got to turn her around again then so we'll just turn her around I can check this I can check this turntable as well see if it does actually work right so let's do this Come on. Welcome to the 50 plus gamers channel. Major Terry. Hello, hello, stream. hello. How the devil are you? Can't see from there. There we go. trying to get it at an angle so I can actually see to level it up oh come on you light up there we go I think one more touch one more just one more for precision spot on okay thing sounds like it's racing every time get a break just sounds like it's racing every time so we've got the route right anyway we've got that spot on that's going to be correct yeah we should be okay with this so I am more than happy with this shunting area. The way it works, it's perfect. Kind of ticks all the boxes for moving all the trains around, getting all them, getting them all stored. I'm going to have to do another one as well at the other depot so that at least I can leave the wagons that are just going to be the wagons that are just going to be collecting um, logs I can just leave them there which I think is a good idea I think that will work perfect that will Sim Simmer Billy Ocean I've <laughs> really hurt without you oh god what's that all about Mr. Sim Simmer, where is my Bimmer? How the devil are you? And I haven't spoke to you for a while either. Where have you been? Where have you been, my brother? This thing always sounds like it's about to explode. Yet it's got so much torque when it's pulling loads. So much torque. 
No, you don't have to do that. Sim underscore, Sim underscore 85 cheers. X100. Lovely you don't have brother. to do that because you haven't been here, you know, sir. Right, we're going to stop just behind, just in front of here anyway. So that we can reverse this thing back. Right, so we're going to stop just here. Uh, might as well pop that off and put that. I like to do the manual when I'm so close. So we're going to just park this up here. That into reverse. And drop it down there for now. Because we haven't got to turn it around as such. It's just so that I can get... Oh god. Now go back a bit further. It's just so that I don't have to go all the way around with it. As soon as I've completed this one here. I think I'm going to have to go back a bit further. Because I know that we're gonna, we might hit that. I don't want to hit it. Mr. Sim Simmer! Oh god, you do every time you come in you do this, you know that don't you? Every time you come in you do this. <laughs> Thank you very much anyway. But no need. So we're gonna take the shunter all the way out, reverse it all the way back in and pick these cars up. Gonna couple them all up to the lock core wood. Dion Warwick, <laughs> that's what friends are for. Yes, you see. I know you're a music man. Right, we are decoupled. Just go for right, has this got any yeah it has. <laughs> You'll just keep doing it, won't you? You'll just Sim keep doing it. Simmer underscore 85 cheered. Mr. Sim Simmer. Tell you what, just to get them, you know, when they've been stood for a while, it's like you have to give them a bit of power just to get them moving. Right, let's check we've got, oh, we haven't even got that set to go out, have we? So, that one will go straight out. Yeah, that's fine. He'll go straight out. Need to do that. So he can go across. And then when he gets here, we'll park up. Sim underscore, Sim, 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 thank you for that. Cheered. X and then we need to have, that's open. We need to park just here so that we can work out where we're off. Oh, he's doing it again. Oh, it's going to be what? How many has he done at the moment? Sim Let's have a look. Sim underscore 85 That's cheered. One, two, X100. Three, four, five, six. He's going to do a thousand. Oh, Sim, man. <laughs> Sim underscore, Sim underscore 85 cheered. X100. Honestly. Thank you very, very much for that. Sim I do appreciate that. Sim a great deal. Sim underscore 85 cheered. <laughs> X100. <coughs> oh, God, I don't I'm tipping out the fag and I'm coughing. Sim underscore, simmer underscore, Here we go. Cheers. X100. Sim! Sim underscore, simmer underscore, Behave yourself. Cheers. X100. <laughs> right, we're going to pull up here anyway. we go we're going to pull up just here and we're back in we're back in now not too much 
about 30 odd. Yeah, that should be good. <clears throat> Much love, my old mate. Simsima, how are you anyway? You haven't told me how you are yet. I need to know that you are okay. Right, guys, I've just had a mad rush to go to the toilet, so bear with me. Let me just quickly nip to the ladies, and I will be straight back. What's that? One second. I'll not be too long, guys. Simsima, thank you very, very much for those bits, mate. Really do appreciate that. You are a good, good, good man. Right, so we're going back in. We're going straight back in. <coughs> do, 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 do. You've got me uh, that tune on my mind now. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Oh, we need to slow down. We need to slow down. <clears throat> Thank you. I appreciate it, though. I really do. Okay. So, we are not right. We need to slow down a little bit more. Slow down a little bit more. Let's get a bit of break on. Because we need to stop just here. Because I've got to work out where I'm going to go. We'll do the ones closest to the platform first. Yeah, we'll stop just here. We'll flick the switch over. Ones closest to the platform so that we can open it up for the log cart. I think I said this before. I enjoy Gregory Abbott. I don't want to shake you down. And uh, no, I can't. I can't sing. Save my life. So I'm not going to even bother. <laughs> oh dear. I've got all. Honestly, I've got all of them. You know. And I love it when you come into the channel because you remind me of all them tracks and everything. Now, if you if you guys want to listen to any kind of the music that I would say that me and Sim Simmer and you need to get Kissography, man. Oh, you need to get it. I was listening to it uh, at work and oh, some of the tunes and I was like, I haven't heard this for ages. Right, so this is going to take us over to the far right, sorry, the far left. So we can pick that one up. We'll come forward. We'll go, we'll go back and collect the other two. So if I set this one up, I'm going to set them all up, to be honest, because I think I didn't do this last time and it was a mistake of mine. So I can just reverse back into them. So we'll set that one up for collection. Uh, that one and this one. And then that one. Oh, hang on. Yeah, because it'll be that one. Click, click, click. There we go. <clears throat> so they're all ready to accept each other as it was. <laughs> Sim underscore Simmer underscore oh, 85 Sim. tiered X100. Oh. oh, Sim, 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 Simmer. I'm going to let you do your thing. 
Sim underscore Simmer underscore 85 cheered. I'm gonna let you do your thing so no, I can't stop you. I'm like that when I'm when I'm off on one as well. You can't stop him, so I'll let Sim you carry underscore, on. Sim underscore Simmer underscore 85 cheered. X100. So shunting is what's the shunting? Does Sim anybody know what the shunting speed is? X100. There's a certain speed that you shunt at. Sim underscore simmer underscore 85 cheered. X100. When you shunt in Dev, is there a certain easy about? He's not about, is he? I was going to ask him what the shunting speed is. I don't think they can hear me. <clears throat> okay. I just wanted to know if there's an actual shunting speed, you know what I mean? When you're in a shunting area. Yeah, thank you for that, Sim, and I do appreciate that. All right, let's put a bit of brake on. I said a bit of brake, not stop. A bit of brake. A bit of brake. Let's get a bit more. There we go, that'll help me. Yeah, that I'm just making sure that's actually out. Bam, right. We are connected. We should be able to do Let's have a look. forward Billy Ocean Caribbean girl Caribbean girl <laughs> yeah but they, the only difference with some of those though the thing the thing Billy Ocean was okay but for me it was a lot more commercialized wasn't it I was more like your, you know your Atlantic star Dennis Edwards, don't look any further. I was into those kind of stuff. Not so much commercial. Stu Lad! Oh my god! Stu Lad 12, you have definitely, definitely changed your name. I already have a Stu Lad who is already following me. Now I get a Stu Lad 12. What the hell? What's that about? I was so into Atlantic Star back in the day. Bit of break, bit of break, bit of break. Okay. So that will put me down the middle. And we should be able to pick. I think there was two in the middle, weren't there? Should be able to pick those two cars up in the middle now. Oh, hang on. I think I've got to make sure I change this one first. Yeah. Got to change that. So that'll put me right in the middle. There's nothing wrong with a bit of shunting, is there? I should be okay. And then pick up some momentum. Uh, come on, Billy Ocean was great. He was. I'm not saying he wasn't. No, I'm not saying he wasn't. Game. <clears throat> oh, damn, Mr. 50 in the train yard. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's part of the game. It's got to be done. There's, there's only one way I'm going to get all these carriages connected up and, look, it's how it is. 
I apologize, but it's what it is. It's like when you play any game, there's always a boring side to the game, isn't there? Always. And I'm I'm sorry, but this is what I, in fact I'm gonna take that back. So did I Yes. <laughs> oh god did I get lucky. Yeah, I did. I've gotta say, I got lucky the other day. I've got I've got I've gotta be honest, I did. I'm you know, I'm a grown man, I did. But what I'm going to do is try and push this back to the other carriage. Come on, you got, you got, you got the power. Although the brakes are on, power is there. Power is there. We have the power. They're not going to mess around. Bam. There you go. If you've got the power, use it. <clears throat> okay. Break off. Break off. Right, there we go. Uh, did I say the power is... <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Now we've got to get that one connected. <coughs> get that one connected. And that one should be ready to take. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's ready. It's all fine. Von Kell. What's one girl saying? Thank you so much for a nice stream. I need to go uh, go to work, but I will come back another day. Uh, Von Kell, thank you very, very much for coming to the channel and enjoying yourself anyway, matey. That's always a good thing. Uh, when I tell you, women have some kind of voodoo. <laughs> I'll tell you that now, they do. I swear to God, they have got some kind of voodoo over all of us. Uh, Neil Diamond. Now, that's it now. That's it. I'm sorry, that's it. No, sorry. Neil Diamond was I, I no no Sim no Sim no Oh we've run, how can I have run out? I've been you Right, okay. I need to be quick on this guys. One second. Put that on. Do that. I've run out of steam. <laughs> I've run out of steam. Oh, God. I didn't know shunting was so... Uh, so resource heavy. I ran out of steam. It shouldn't... It shouldn't take too long anyway, because the water pressure is 110 anyway. So I should be able to... Yeah. Move straight on. That's just got to get to 100. Come on. Gotta love 50. Always support this man. Oh, my God. 50 was more Barry White. <laughs> no. The women. The majority of the women. Oh, Sim, thank you. The majority of the women. Sim underscore Simmer underscore all Barry White. I'll tell you that now. All right, there we go. I just Sim do not want to... Simmer underscore 85 Sim. cheered. X100. Thank you very, very much. How much have you dropped him here? Sim underscore Simmer underscore 85 wow. cheered. X100. <laughs> yeah, you, you've triggered me COVID kills now, look. Cheered. X100. I've got to, uh, I've got to delete that, haven't I? I've got to edit it because to be honest and truthfully... Sim underscore Sim Some people underscore could be offended. Covid can kill. X100. Keep your distance, followers, please. That was me looking after you guys, by the way.
Right, so we've got to pick another one up. Drop that on there. Thank you, honestly. Sim, thank you very much, mate. Right, okay, so we have to get this one coupled up so we don't have to go all the way down. Just have to get past this first carriage. That should have done it. Yeah, that's done it. And then switch over. That should be quite quick. Here we go. The drift. Oh yeah, yeah. The drifters. There goes my first love. Yeah, that's more. Uh, so, so the stuff that you're telling me about is more like mid seventies and eighties stuff, then, aren't you? That's what you're telling me. So, were you more that kind of era? Because that kind of stuff, I was a kid. So I kind of work out where you're going with this now. Right, we're going to hit that hard. I don't want to hit it too hard. Brake, brake. That was lovely. Look at that. I was controlling the brake. Bam. I didn't want to hit that too hard. I took it flying. <clears throat> Okay, let's get that connected and the brake off. So the brakes off, we'll check all the brakes as well. It's completely off. Lovely. So now we've got to go, well, we can go straight out anyway, but we're going to go all the way out to here, park up, reverse back in. When we reverse back in, we are going to attach to here. We're going to do. Let's just check how much water we've got. Okay. We are okay. <clears throat> we are okay. Um. So the difference is Betsy won't be able to, she can pull these cars, but I know she'll struggle. But I know that the Climax would pull the log one perfect. So we might leave Betsy on this, even though she, we're only using it as a shunter. And, and she should be able to manage all this um, core wood. A bit more power on you, Doc. <clears throat> you can't sell them. Can you sell them? I didn't think you could. I, I thought you couldn't sell them. Because if that's the case, I could sell Betsy when it, and and some of the, and get a climax. Because I'd rather get the climax because that has got some torque. To die for. Once you set the climax and you get it right, it just goes. Black is black. I want my baby back. I know all the tunes. There isn't a tune you can put in here that I won't know. Yeah, there isn't a tune that I won't know. That's the difference. But I'm just trying to work out the era and everything that you that you that you particularly like and they were all like 70s mid 80s put a bit of break on 
because I'm feeling blue. <laughs> I want you. Right, that should be just past that. Let's put that reverser on. Slow it down a bit. Bam. <clears throat> What can I do? Cause I <laughs> what do you pray? don't stop painted black. Right, um Just thinking this one through now. We're just going straight back, aren't we? I think I've already set the route. Now the problem is the core wood is right over by the login state. Oh come on game. It's right over by the login station. So that's gonna be a bit of a pain. That's a, a longer distance to travel now. Let's get that to 28. I'll be okay. Ever met a nicer streamer? I know if it, there's a, you know something there are some really nice streamers out there you know to be fair that's not me being there are some nice streamers out there doghouse is one of the guys i like i think i will spend more time in his channel <clears throat> I was listening to someone today that I'm not going to name and he was going, he was literally on one about streamers. Honestly, he was on one about streamers about how, you know how <clears throat> we're, we're classed as small streamers, yeah. And he was going on about how a lot of the small streamer, I did think this through. I thought that was on the trap. How a lot of the small streamers are complaining about Twitch not helping, not doing this. And in a way, he had a point because he was saying, well, how do you think... We all started off as small streamers and things have changed a lot. God, we're quite close. And things have changed a lot. And I was kind of thinking, I can see where he's coming from, and I do. And... I think what he was aiming at, of, you've got some of these small streamers that kind of feel that Twitch owes them something and that Twitch kind of should help them get the followers and get their numbers. He's the real Robin Hood. <laughs> Break. We're going into, we're going in hot. We're going in hot, boys. Slow this down. That's it. We're going in too hot. Let's take that down. There we go. We're good now. We're good. We're good. Very good. I am honestly, guys. I am absolutely loving this shunting area. I think it is honestly. It is. It's the best. I don't care. It is the best. I don't know what I'd have done. Well, I'm. I'm persistent anyway, so I would have done something similar. But this is absolutely amazing. I'm so pleased with it. Right, we don't, we're coming in hot. We're coming in hot. Bit more break. Spell. Oh, God, we came in hot on that one. It's not got a D on the end, but... <laughs> 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 I'll give you I'll give you nine out of ten for effort because there was a D on the end. Okay? Had a few now. Listen, look, I'm I'm only on my first one here and it's because I'm talking, it's lasting me a while. Mmm. Just a tip. Where the devil have you been? Just a tip. Oh my god. Right, so we've got to work this out now because I've got to work... Oh, this is where I hit. There we go. Oh, come on. Right, so you know what's happened, don't you? It's somehow when I've coupled up, 
I didn't. I'm sure I left this right. Well, let's not get. Let's not get into it. Let's just do it again. It does this. Sometimes it sends the pin back in. Because I'm sure I was ready for coupling up, but it not took me long. Let's just do that and get this thing moved forward a bit. Forward. Forward. I think that should be enough. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Hope you've been well. I'm fine. Yes, Mr. Sim Simana, what can I do for you? Yeah, it's been a while. I'll take it that it's all to do with IRL, yeah? So you've got that many cars. Come on. Bam, right, we hit it. <clears throat> I've... <laughs> Lady Gaga, not for me. No, Lady Gaga, not for me. Have a listen to that. Okay, I'll, f because you're you're putting it my way, I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to give you my honest opinion, okay? Because she started dating Bradley Cooper, didn't she, if I remember rightly? They made a film together and she started dating him. And, 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 and you know what? Okay, trust. I'm going to trust you. No, don't do it. <laughs> but I'm going to trust you anyway. Yeah. Where am I going? Down here. I've got to work out which carriage it is. Which thing is that? So it's not that one. It's the next one. There we go. Now we connected. Brakes off. I know I put the brakes on some of these, didn't I? I'm sure I did. Or was it? yeah, I know I did. I think it was just the last few. That one. And that one. Right. So I was fortunate that I put the brakes on those. Uh, hey, is hey is for horse, nay. What? How's that about? Okay, donkey. <laughs> right. So we've got eight. Is it just eight carriages on that one? Let's see if I do it this way, isn't it? Nine. So we've got nine on that one, so we only need one more. We've got nine on here, but we've got this one here, which is going to make ten. And then I think we've got ten on here. Right, so we've got ten on that one. Uh, been playing any new games that you've been enjoying this one at the moment i'm absolutely loving it i've played this one for near on a month now enter if i look at most of my streams so i'm gonna have to literally take some time away from it just take some time away and play some other games because i've been stuck on this for i must have been playing this for at least a month why is that one that shade is that telling me something? I think that's telling me something because that's got like a... Open control. Show freight. What's open control? Oh. So, oh God, I, you know what? <laughs> So I could put the brake on from here rather than running all the way down the train. Just by doing that lot. So that's when the brake's on that it's that colour. One second. Right. So when it's got a red rim around it, it means the brake's on. Uh, I knew how the, that goes, lol. Hooked on Tarkov and being getting into Elden Ring. Do you know something? I tried Elden Ring, I did. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I tried Elden Ring. 
I like this thing because when I do that now, it should have that. There you go. It's got that red rim around it, which means the brakes on. So if I do that one, oh, I didn't know it did this. It's amazing when you play around with things, isn't it? There we go. And the max speed is 22 on this. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> you don't know what speed you're doing. The game doesn't tell you what speed it's doing. So how's that got? I'm not going to get into that. Oh, there you go. So it's got the brake on. That's got the brake on. But very rewarding feeling when you accomplish stuff. Elden Ring looks a really tough game to play, I have to say. I've been watching a top streamer play and he's got really far and it looks like a really, the bosses in Elden Ring look amazing. I have to say they are absolutely amazing. Um, I'm looking at the time guys and I think I'll have enough time for one run. Whitney Houston, I have nothing. I've got the majority of Whitney Houston stuff, you know. I've got to be honest. I adored Whitney Houston. Her music was amazing, I've got to say. Uh, so what we're going to do is... It's punishing. The bosses are crazy. I've, I've watched it and I think I couldn't play that game. There's no way I could do it. Oh, I, I know what we was going to do. We we're going to take the shunter. Tell you what I'll do. I'll do one log run so that we've got some planks at the. So we've got some planks at the sawmill. So I'll do a log run. I'll complete one log run and then I'll call it there because I'm looking at the time. Yeah, we'll do that. So if I take him back out, reverse him back to the front, and he can go in here. Can lock. We'll lock that one off for now because we're not going to do anything with that at the moment. <laughs> I'm saying nothing, honestly. I'm saying nothing. Right, so we've got to go to this, bring it forward, switch, reverse it back. Reverse it back. Okay. God help me when I get all the other vehicles in, when I get all the other trains in, you know, and all the other carriages. I'm kind of looking forward to how far I can get on this game as well. Depends if I stick with it. That's the problem with me. Oh, little butter. How are you? God damn. I'm fine. I know all the giggles me. Don't worry about that. Good. I mean, the guys, if you want to speak to the guys, they're all in Discord. Well, I tried talking to them. They didn't want to know, so I don't know if they're there. <laughs> Oh, do you know this thing and, and, and steam? I'm, I'll tell you now, it, do you know the game? I hate when they say that they try to make things real, real, you know, real life because the steam in this would not have run out already. Not a chance. Oh, well, it's straight back up anyway. So we are going to go forward. So let's go forward. I'm just going to try and do this relatively quick so I can get that run done always much respect to you you're the one that's dropping the bits in me i'm just doing what i normally do you're dropping all these bits in showing your support to the channel honestly that's brilliant right okay so we'll put the brake on here which should stop us just by the pin oh see when the compressor's up that braking system on this is great Right, so let's get that turned. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just clarify what we're going to do. Straight back, we're going to reverse back, and we're going to pick up a log carriage. We're going to go round the track, get the logs, bring them back to the mill drop them in the mill, come back here, finish the stream. So when I stream next time, I have got corp, no, lumber and beams. That's the idea. If I don't play offline, that is. 
I'm that hooked on the game. I play it quite a bit offline as well. I think you guys would have enjoyed when I was doing the um, shunting area because, oh God, it was so much fun. Even though I rage quit, I still say it was fun. Right, let's get some power up here so we can get this done. This thing sounds like it's going to blow up every time. I've got them running at 20 and 22 and listen to that. It just sounds like it's over revving or it's overpowering but the torque on this thing is amazing. Bit of break. We never want to go in too high and I forgot to set the coupler. Just do that now. Let's set the coupler. I don't think I've set it. Oh, you have to get out for this one. I have. Now I'll couple up on this one instead. Uh, why does it sound like it's blowing a bell in a <laughs> wood chipper? It's just how it is. It's just how this thing is. I've tried to turn... I tried to turn the power right down so that it's kind of traveling at a speed where it doesn't sound as if it's over revving or getting stressed, but it's, oh God, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. If I turn this right down, so we go to 16 and we'll go on nine. Just listen. Can you hear it already? It just it just sounds as if it's overpowered all the time. You get what I mean? Listen to that. It's crazy. It's just how it is. But it's got great torque on it though. I've got to be honest. So we need a bit of break. And when the compressor's up, it's brilliant. Bit of break. Now we should just touch that. Bam! Wonderful. Okay. What? I didn't put the brake on these. <laughs> oh God, 50, what are you doing? <laughs> Hey, I'd be great in a shunting yard. Could you imagine the fun you'd have with me in a shunting yard? <laughs> oh, dear. And I'm just using the power of the vehicle because I don't want to. Right, we've got momentum. Bam. <laughs> got to go okay sim do you know what mate uh, honestly it's always a pleasure having you in here and i know the irl i know the irl will what you call it irl will always always get in the way i know that but just make sure just make sure that you pop in and you always say your hellos mate uh. Right, so that should do that, and that should do that. So now, we can take break off. Break off, I'm just gonna, oh, I don't even have to do this. I can just, I've just realized, I can just sit here and do this, can't I? So we had the break on that one, which I think the break's off now. Yeah, the break's off now. Yeah, you look at, no, you look after yourself, mucka. <laughs> So we've got the brakes off everything. Apart from that, we've got the brake on there, as you can see. I'm glad I've noticed that in this. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, not a problem, Sid, mate. You look after yourself, kiddo. Right, so we'll go and do one 
log run is what we've got oh god this is going to be fun and if we get any problems oh god right so let's set this up log run on the way so we're going to come out here we're going to go straight down it's already set for us to go straight out so that's good and we're going to go over to we're going over here so we're going over here now so we need to turn that that way so we can go up collect the logs off here i don't think we've got anything else we need to change the switches on see i've worked out as well that looking at the terrain on here the flatlands there is all this open area so even when i look for the oil field i'd have to from here i could run but that's not all oh, that's what that is yeah that's not flat i could run something off here straight across down there to the oil field that's what i could do i'm, I'm sidetracking on to don't sidetrack 50 just do what you got to do let's get this done okay let's get out of here let's get out of here I'll shunt that one over offline. Drop it in here. Do that now. <clears throat> See, I've only got it at 31 and 22 in reverse. And listen to this. It's a workhorse. Goddamn workhorse. Oh, we're okay. Red's over to the left. And to the right. It's fine. It just sounds it's so overpowering in the sense that, look, I can't zoom in anymore. Oh, that's it. There you go. go he's a good man mr simpson oh. right so we're okay at the moment so now we can put the power on if you don't think we've got the power on we're now going to put the power on but it's the torque that you're looking for in this train So 59 and 59. That should give you good torque, hopefully. Compressors are on full. We put the sander on. If it, I don't know if the sander works, but I put the sander on so that when we get to a reasonable gradient, it can still go. But I don't think the sander works in the game just yet. higher because I can see where there we go let's see what happens until I can fix this track Constant look. Sand is for if you don't get traction to have it. That's why I've put it on! Honestly, why are they telling you what you know? 
Right, so let's just take that down a bit. You're telling me what I know. And drop that down. Because I know you. How can you say you know me? I've already said and explained that I've got a dodgy piece of the track here where it kind of rises. So I put the sand on and I, I said I don't think the sand works. And you're telling me that sand is what you apply if you get to a steep gradient or you need more traction. Which is what I've goddamn said. Anyway, let's get off that subject. Right, let's do this. We need to slow this baby down. Bit of break. See, when that compressor set, this train reacts brilliant. <laughs> I, I actually... Dev, while you're here, I did try and speak to you in Discord, but I think you must have nipped away. Is there a speed that a train has to be at when it's in the shunting yard? Is there a certain speed? Right, so let's get this. I think that should do it. sound as if it's but it's got some great talk on it this thing but in the UK max it is 10 15 in depot slidings some extensions of oh yeah okay that's what thank you so I'm right in doing this nice and steady tell you what speed this thing's doing. Oh, we're doing... No, that's... The... Is that pressure? Is that speed? You don't want more power. Dan! I don't think we need more power. <laughs> I think this thing is more for pulling the... Oil tankers, the oil tankers, I think, and anything else. Looking at the speed it travels at. A little bit more regulator, because I know we're going to come to a steep part here. It looks like it's going slow, guys, but it isn't. I reckon I've got a break on somewhere. I'm sure I have. I'm sure I've got a break on somewhere. Yes, Dr. Jones, you would. I'm telling you, you would. Now we're at full power. Oh, God. <laughs> How 
dare you talk about my mama like that? How dare you? Leave my mama out of this. <laughs> And don't shout at me either. God damn. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Right, a bit, a bit of power because it does slow down here. Oh my god, how dare you. I'm going to tell my mommy. Oh, what's going off? No! Why? Why? Oh, there you go. Too much. You see the power this thing's got? Too much regulator gives you problems. Put it in reverse. And get it forward. There we go. I'm learning about this train a great deal. We'll fill it up front first, yeah? We'll do that. Oh, look at that 50. That was perfect. That was absolutely perfection. So I explained why bullet trains fly. <laughs> they, they don't, they, bullet trains don't normally fly through the station, do they? They have to slow down. Although a bullet tra some bullet trains have to slow down at a certain speed, don't they? Oh my gosh, Ryan, how the devil are you? My brother, how are you, Ryan? go look I'm absolutely fine absolutely fine oh we need to find the sweet spot don't we let's see if we can find that sweet spot there we go oh we don't get it here no we don't get a sweet spot here these are wider That's it, yeah, that's right. Okay. Nice and steady. That's what she said. Nice and steady. See, I can't see no shadows here, so I have to look. I think I'm better there, aren't I? probably say about there no, we're too we're a bit too far this side oh, we'll try it see what happens I just don't want it to go on to that one over there it needs to hit this one oh that's okay so this is gonna hit that one I know it is it's gonna miss the middle one out gone too far forward yeah it's gonna hit oh that's okay we did all right on that one just
Can I post a link in Discord? Yes, you can post anything in Discord, not a problem. Not in the channel, it gets checked by a moderator and then if it's legit, they can bring it into the channel. Nothing goes in the channel. If you're not part of Discord, exclamation mark Discord, and then you'll be able to jump straight in. <clears throat> right, this is where I get stuck now, trying to work out the distance. Let's try this. that look let's have a look a little bit more oh look at that you think you're there but you're not oh dear gosh this is so difficult at times Let's go back slightly. try it. I think it'll hit that back one. Uh, train's going to what looks like 300 kilometers. Okay. Oh, is this going through a station? Is that what you're going to show me? A bullet train going through a station? Okay. You can, you can double look. Well, I know you can double Keep telling me stuff I done. <laughs> if you watch these, you can see them start to bow as it puts the logs on. That will start to bow. Uh, the train seems to be moving slightly. train it's slightly moving if you put two cars between the crane and I, I know that when you say double it can't do them both at the same time right we're loaded on there Try it. I've tried. I've done it already. Oh God! Look how long this thing is. Let's try and get this set right. I've seen YouTube videos. It does it. Okay. Well, I'll try. I'm, it's getting the the. Let's just leave it there, see what that does. It's just getting it set right, that's the problem. Look, remember how long 
the train is and trying to judge the distance is a pain in the goddamn backside look it's a pain in the arse it really is that's going to get the back one definitely let's try it anyway that's definitely going to get the back though no oh wonderful you can double load how do you double it then because i can't click anything to get them to double load i can click that i can click that that's all i can do i can't do anything else unless there's a setting that i don't know about but i can't do anything other than what i'm doing So if there's a YouTube video on how to do it, post it in Discord for me. Because I can't see it. I can I found out on some of them, you can find the sweet spot where you can just turn and click, turn and click. That's the best I can do at the moment. <laughs> it is I've, I've been trying i've been i've been complaining all i've been complaining about did you just try to double load to like <laughs> i don't know a double load what the hell i don't know right okay I'm fed up of running down the running down the track. That's what I'm fed up of doing. If the, I'll look at it now if there's a way of doing it. Right, see I can't even see all that way. I can't see a goddamn thing. I'm just gonna get this one to the platform and that's it. Right, that's it. That's all we're doing. <clears throat> what was that one? Oh, brilliant. Oops. No, I've, I've seen what you've done. You haven't... Uh, let me just talk to... Oh, you don't... Do you know what? I can take that word out. Because I've read what you've put, and to be honest and truthfully, you don't get timed out for nothing for that. Because I have changed all the timeouts on everything anyway, so you don't really get timed out for a bit. It kind of gives you a warning. Just behave yourself anyway, just a tip. You should know better than that. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Right, let me have a... He's not put nothing in my Discord. And I'm trying to see what he's on about. You're always a good boy. It's just, you know... If you want to just hyphen it in something or do something with it, it's, I ain't got a problem with that at all. I want to know this I want to understand this double load because if you can do a double load it's gonna take it's gonna be a lot quicker than me having to click the button got to find the video find the video and hurry up young man <laughs> you youngsters on Google find anything you need anything right there we go okay Right, so now I can go back. Oh, God damn, look how long this thing is. God damn. Oh, God. Oh, dear. I'm out of breath. Oh, gosh. Right, let's just get this sorted out here. <laughs> That's what she said. Go on, Jimmy. Right, okay, so we'll plan the route back first because otherwise... Googling double load produce mixed results. Okay, you Google it. Right, so let's turn this... 
so that we can get out and we'll check the route on the way back so we're only going down to we're only going to drop off here so you see if i was if i'd have had enough time i'd have set the route so we'd have gone this way around dropped off and then carried back so we can fill this up we're only going to drop one load here and then go back to the depot get this thing all parked up so we're okay to go in we'll drop the load off and then we'll carry straight on back to the depot so we should be okay now we should be good nice steady let's do this let's just go this thing is i love this one somebody said to me i wouldn't enjoy it <laughs> excuse the expression guys but somebody said to me i wouldn't enjoy the climax and i am absolutely loving it go on 50. you see what i did there did you see what i did there guys i took the word climax and i anyway i can do this all day oh god let's slow it down oh gosh get a break there we go nice and steady <laughs> nice and steady so with this one it's all about the reverser and the regulator being set correct so you get the torque on the track it's not necessarily about speed with this particular train regulator up just slightly there we go bit of brake just to slow it down so it goes down there on its own momentum and doesn't I'm just a bit concerned about this corner I may have to redo that Checking that I keep checking the back. Eight forty to eight fifty. What the heck? What the? Look at this. Now that's a load. This one, what happened? What happened here? Guy, are you watching this? We missed the log. It didn't fall off. What happened? Oh, come on, guys. You're not paying attention. We're a log short. <laughs> blame mood bar. <laughs> I'm going to blame chat. It's chat's fault. If I miss something, you guys are supposed to be telling me. Look at this. It's not symmetrical now. What next? <laughs> Go back and get the other. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Uh, you should see your doctor if you keep dropping logs everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Or wear a nappy, whichever, whichever you prefer. I wear a pamper. I want my pampers on. I'm dropping logs.
mampers, or they actually do sell those, to be fair, you know, for blokes that are incontinent. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Just the Tip, for noticing that. Thank you very much for noticing that. Oh, my God. When I need you guys, you are not there for me. And on the rear... No, I didn't. No, look. They're fine. Look, they are perfect. It's just that one. Thank you very much. I got you covered. Thank you. What would I do without you? Is it a visual? <laughs> no, look, that's perfect. Look at that. Right, we need to slow this baby down. Bit of break. There we go. Look at the torque on this thing, it's amazing. Use the reverser and the brake. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, look at that. I think, Dev, Dev, can you get me a job on your, uh, at your place? I, th I feel I've passed the test now. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready now. I'm ready to be a professional train driver now. <laughs> I'm ready now. I think playing this game, I think I've passed the test. I don't know about going. I don't know about going under the sea. I don't know if I could manage that. Don't think I could do that one below water. Never, not a chance. <laughs> you will do. You need some to skip it. So you take me as a skivvy? Oh my God! What is he trying to say? You take me as a skivvy? Honestly, that is an insult. If ever I've seen one. We need a bit of power here. There we go. A bit of break. This thing got so much power. Go. Look at that. I'm ready. I'm ready. Go. Make sure this thing stops before I even do anything about getting off. Never do the drive get fined for leaving cargo back. Listen, it's not my fault that I left the cargo behind. It's chat's fault. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did it count those? Yeah, it did. Oh gosh, just. No, they just get sacked. Oh my God, that's it. So I get sacked on my first day. Is that what you're trying to say?
<laughs> Thank you. What? Just for leaving one piece, one log behind? I'll check it's counting them. Yeah, it is. There we go. Oh my god, that's not good. That is not good at all. Right, so let's go back. Right, let's do this. Okay, so power. Well, we got 25. We need to have that at least 50. There we go. Let's go. Let's try and get this set right. Probably if you are leaving a log behind, oh god. Why do you guys always latch on to the wrong thing in the conversation, Jimmy? You're okay leaving log behinds, just don't go leaving carriages behind. Ah, oh, there you go, when you shouldn't. Have. You can leave cargo behind as a driver because of the load is due by the operation staff. Yeah, but the difference is, if you feel that it's overweight and you do not want to take the load, you can leave it because you're the one that will get fined for carrying the un or the overloaded weight as well. So I did it under them grounds. I was looking after my license. That's all you need to know. My license is priority. Right, I've got to work this out now. Oh, I can drive straight in, can't I? And turn it around, yeah. So I don't have to worry about turning, um, I don't have to worry about reversing or anything like that anymore. Oh my god! 50 has it all under control. The whole lot. Let's check the route in. So we'll check the route in now. So we're going to go in and we're going to park down here. So let's have a look. Oh god. So we're AK okay coming in there. We'll go straight in and we're set to go down here and park up. Wonderful. So we should be able to drive straight in. Check Discord, I posted the link. Where did you put it? Oh, okay. Running lumber planks trains from a sawmill in Okay, all right, no problem, thank you. Let's slow this baby down, oh God. Put a bit of brake on. There we go, we got it, we got it. Woo! Five miles an hour, I was told. Okay, we're coming in. <clears throat> it's a line. So, that load of holes without it's making. Look at 840. Like I said, you see. Oh, okay. All right. I'll have a look at it when I've done. Not 48. Oh my good God. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Right, we're coming in hot. Here we go. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. 
I'm watching every move you do because I've got <laughs> Look, I've done well. I've done well. Nice and steady. We can't speed. Choo choo. Yes. That's it. Nice and steady. At least we've got the train the right way now so we can just go and shunt it around anyway. So we should be good. We should be fine. Bit of brake on there. Look at that. Honestly, I'm ready for my license. I need it. Bam. Oh, perfection. Okay, okay, okay. God damn. Put that on 100%. Can't you have a line for the carts? What the? I, 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 do you know what? <laughs> what the hell are you on about? <laughs> I've got a line for everything I need. Look, it's perfect. I don't need to do another line. A storage line? It's, I've got, I don't need a... What do you mean a storage line? Explain, because I don't need a storage line if I'm selling everything. I kind of hear what you're saying, but the way I've got this set up, I don't need a storage line anywhere. I'm gonna do another one of these over by the um, log station so I can just have carriages that are just for logs and I can couple up as and when I need to. This is spot on. Um, yeah, I think we've got time just to do this. Oh, I need to put this, I need to put a brake on a couple of them. Just in case, uh, let's do that one. Just in case, because the idea is I want a couple to that one. It's all good fun. Oh, this thing's out of bloody everything. Uh, depots don't do don't do tidy storage so you park is perfect thank you it's okay i know i'm doing all right i'm doing absolutely fine okay you can see that i want to stay on can't you so i'm like let's get that one decoupled that one decoupled and let's get this in so we want to move that one so we're gonna, what we're gonna do, open that one up, lock that one off, and we're gonna go straight out again, all the way, and then we are going to park up and reverse into this one. <clears throat> okay. Just gotta get the pressure up there, look. Gotta get the pressure going up just a little bit. And it depends what what um i think i'm right in saying this aren't i dev it depends what storage slow as a turd how the devil are you it depends what it is they're storing because a lot of the stuff that they might get a lot of the stuff that they get they might not want it outside i don't know if i can i know you can build storage depots because they're here let's have a look there are storage depots here oh have to get out of that view you can get storage depots oh no you got a sand hat oh here you go engine shed so you can do engine sheds so i could also i could put these at the end and drop the engines in them at the end of the night but like i said there's supposed to be a lot more coming to the game you've got a sanding house but the someone said to me the sand doesn't work in the game so I'm not sure about that. Yeah, certain freight can't be stored next to other. Thank you. You see? Honestly. Like, like, like I don't know what I'm doing. Told you, I'm a train driver now. Right, so we're up to 92%. We need to get that to 100 and then the pressure will go on and we can move this thing. 
We've got nothing. Oh. We've got a bit and the pressure's going up, look. More pressure, more sound. There you go, look. So the boiler pressure's at 26. Gets louder. 32. There you go, we got pressure. Well, I can move now, can't I, to be honest. Under pressure. Doom, 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 doom. Let's get some regulators going. We don't want to go too fast through here. I was told it's five miles an hour. <laughs> Come on, Betsy, you got this. Have you seen the game? Yes, I've got. I've had Dero Valley for a long time. And I have streamed it, believe it or not. When you pick a load, you have lines with cargo. But the difference with um, Derail Valley is it, it just it just doesn't give you this immersion. It's good, and you've got the remote thing that you can use to drive your train and your cat and stuff. But I just I just couldn't get into it. I've got to be honest. I just couldn't get into that game. Not like this one. I think what makes this game is the fact that you're laying your tracks, and to me, it's a little bit more realism. My turntable looks amazing. But Derail Valley is good. But I've just I've just taken to this. There are certain games you take to when you play them. And this one I've just taken to it. Right, so we're okay to get out. Bit of break. get out and do this one and we need to set it up so we can pick that car up so we're gonna to have to stop again we're gonna to have to stop so we can go in we'll come down here and we're gonna to have to stop here again oh thing about this if I don't press the right key it doesn't work in the right way there we go so we want to be on about 20 Oh, that should be okay. That should be nice and steady. Could you not do that in this? Have lines of cars. And if you have, say, two people, you can say to Dev, as an as a example, Lot. yeah you can yeah you can so I could double yeah I could yeah you can do that yeah not a problem or you can share the same line but you can do what's called an off run so that if I'm coming this way I'd have to stop here and it would run off go round and he'd merge back on but when you're looking at the length of my vehicles my carriages are 10 carriages long which means I'd have to look for a straight piece and it would have to be able to take the train plus the 10 carriages and be able to park up for him to get by. So, you know, again, it's all difficult. Right, so let's do this now. Okay, so we want to go onto that carriage there. Or... You could derail whilst Dev goes by. <laughs> oh, do you know what, Jimmy? I swear to God, Jimmy, you are an absolute card that I want to fold up, put in an envelope and post somewhere. Very, very far away. Very, very far away. My God. I don't know why I put up with you guys. So you can make it like realistic as you want. Yes, you can. Which is why I'm not listening to half of what you are saying. <laughs> because it's not realistic. <laughs> yeah, you can, mate. You can do whatever you like in the game. Uh, always remember one thing, though. Whatever you are doing in the game, 
I've got mine set to medium. Okay, so my my game is set to medium. You then have, I think it's hard, and then below that you've got realistic. So I set mine to medium because I thought that was more of a challenge for me. I do not want to set it to hard. I probably don't want to set it to realistic because if I set it to realistic, I probably wouldn't be able to move on the tracks. I think it's just your preference when you load the game up. Right, so we'll get close and then we'll set this one to pick up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. All I know is that you have been, not the trade journey. <laughs> I don't mind that to, so, so much, to be honest. Because you can do your double tracks, and I think the double... Yeah, I think the problem you might have, though, is when you get to the depot, you're going to have to have that train, even if you've got a double line, it's still going to have to go into one, because if you look at where the train line is... To the actual platform yeah you've seen what it's like when i'm loading it would have to go a double into one so that whichever line the train's on it can go in and then pull up to where it needs to offload so you'd probably have to do that a fair distance back before you hit the station or the platform anyway doesn't need anyone near him for him to derail oh jimmy Come on, just give me a little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> When's the... Okay, right. Okay, listen. Listen. When is the last time you see me derail? Okay, when's the last time? I've redone all my... I've redone nearly every piece of track. And I'm getting no thanks for it. I've redone every piece of track. Oh, oh, God. Do you know what? That's the first person to say that. Oh my God. Do you know what? Dev, what would I do without you? Would be exclamation mark fuel. <laughs> what? Here we go. Hang on. Fuel. Exclamation mark fuel. Honestly, what are you guys like? Death's the first, and look, I've been playing the game for how long? I've been playing the game for four hours and eight minutes. Four hours and eight minutes. And that's the first save. Oh, you guys are ridiculous. That's it now. I'm going to have to put in the title, please remind at 50 to save the game. Oh my God, I can't believe that. Dev, you're a superstar. The rest of you in chat, I don't know what you're doing. Unsafe. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. You just want to wind me up, don't you? That's what it is. I think I'm being a little bit too cautious, aren't I? Bam. I'm just being a little bit too cautious. We are loaded. Right, so we've now got to come back out of here which we're set to come back out. Problem is we've got to go all the way up here and then come back in on this line. No, I'm, I'll be done by the time you get back. I'm just going to part this up and that's me finished, boys. Let's hope I don't derail though, eh? So we're going to go out up to here, park about, park here, turn the switch, come back in, couple up to this. No, couple up to this one here. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's the point. Take that off. No, that needs to be on. That needs to be on to block that route at the moment. In fact, we're not using these now. Let's close those down so I can use this as a, a run through. And we are going to go here. Did I hear we will derail? Well, you're going to derail in a minute. So we'll come down here and we'll couple up and I'll leave the train there hopefully. So let's just check this through again. Yeah, we're fine. So we can go straight out. God damn, honestly, why me? Of all the streamers, in all the stream platforms, in all the internet, why me? Right, let's do this. Uh, 25, that should be enough. Come on, bet. 
Betsy. You can do it. Show me what you're made of. Do you know something? Out of all the trains, uh, too late I got married that derailed any man. <laughs> right, where is she? I'm going to tell her. Where is she? Come on. I bet you didn't say that to her face. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. You said that, did you? Get out of my house. Yeah, I tell you what. I can see that coming straight away. Right, let's get a bit of power on this one as we'll never get out of here. I'm going to try and see if I can make a runoff from here although to be fair I don't mind going so far because I can't extend these or do anything with this track because you can't touch this track but it would be nice to have some sort of a runoff that would link to this one and go so far out I only did that because I just like the look of it when it's open space as you come into the yard that's the only reason I did that I got rid of all the crap that I had in the yard and started all over again. So the work that's going to be too late, a friend put me in the doghouse. Yeah, there you go. And don't you forget it. And, and honestly, it doesn't take much, does it? You'll find that out, it does not take much. Okay, so let's put a bit of brake on because we'll be stopping soon anyway. There we go. So let's just check the route through one last pass through so we're going to come back in uh yeah we'll go straight back in we'll go down i'm just trying to work this one out here why did we not go okay so we'll go straight back out uh all i said as she's American as I used to hide during World War One and World War Two in 1940, World War One started. Uh, US joined 1917, World War Two started in 39. Oh come on, you can't. You know what? You you just put yourself. You just put yourself in the doghouse by trying to be clever. So we'll come straight back down here, guys. We'll go straight in, and we'll be able to couple up, and then we'll park up, and then we'll be done. So I think we have done all right. 25, yeah, that'll be good. Click that just for the sake of it, although this thing doesn't need a sander. It's true though, but I got two dogs to cuddle with. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, you're fine. Oh my god. You're a card, you know, G. You are an actual card. <clears throat> we'll reverse up as close as we can because I don't think I've set, you know, I haven't set it to accept the load anyway. Do you know what this is like? Why I think I do like it a lot? It's like having a model train set. I think that's why I like it so much. And you tell me who wouldn't like a large model train set. Bit of break. Don't want to go in too hot. There we go. If we go for 5%. Now I wouldn't have time for it. You know what? You're fortunate I have time to do this. Bit of break, bit of break. Want to get as close as we can. Oh, that should do. <clears throat> oh, we was already set up, look. We already set it, that's me. I have a brain the size of a goddamn gnat. 
We're already set to go straight in. Here we go. Bam. So now we've got 10 cars on here, 10 cars on there. The train at the end, we can send that around. I love having a real life train set. Oh God, you that'd be pretty, you know what? <laughs> can you imagine? Uh, and looking at what we've got to do here, let me just count these through. Got one, hang on, that looks like it's, let's put that away. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine so we only need one more and then we are done as far as what money have we got yeah we can do that so we'll get one more and then we are done as far as all the carriages that we need right so we've got all the carriages we need to be fair because we can't really do a great deal more. I can only carry 10 of anything. So we've got the carriage over there. I'll leave that till next time. But we've now got the three trains. We've got the Shunter. We've got the Climax. We've got the Eureka. Okay. So we can do... So we can do the logs. We can do the core wood. We can do the beams. We can do the lumber. Which is fine. So we need to do that for a while. Until we can build up some cash. Um... When you're looking at the next level, okay? If you look at the next level now, like these things, that one is 850, and that one will carry iron ore coal. Then we're gonna have to, so we're gonna have to get 10 of those again, yeah? Because I can only hold 10 here, unless I build a shunting area near the refinery, which can hold more. But the thing that I'm thinking is it's the amount it's the amount that I can pull on single player. Yeah, there's a leveling system, look. I am just come out of this. I am level six. Look over there, top. I'm level six. And when you get to the leveling system, that's where you're able to purchase. So I think I can buy anything at the moment. Have a look. Five, four, six, five, three, level one, tier one. Yeah, so I can, yeah, I can buy anything. Yeah, at the moment I can buy anything. So what I'm looking at is, we need to look at, you've got that thing which carries, I don't, what does this thing carry? Because I don't know what that, it says, Boba, Boba, Boba Caboose. What is a Boba Caboose? This is a crate, I think this carries anything. Crate tools, I don't know, it's, I don't understand where to get any of that, crate tools. Oh, it's a guards, but, oh, okay. And this is what I was on about. This is your crude oil. So I believe that the Climax can pull plenty of these at a steady speed at uh, probably anything that's going on a gradient one. Probably a gradient two with speed. So I've got to be careful because I will probably have to start using um, bridges, platforms to get across some things. Are you being crude with that oil? Definitely. So, look, it's the prices I'm trying to explain to you guys now. 850 for one for the hopper, okay? The tanker is 1,450. So you can understand, if I'm going to get 10 of those, you can understand I'm going to be close. You're looking at nearly 10 grand. Well, looking at that, it's nearly 20 grand, isn't it? So you can understand how you have to build your money up. That's the difference. But if I get... If I can get the crude oil, it's probably going to give me a lot more back once I sell it. And the same with this one, 950, 500. Yeah. 11 to 25 with train. I'm only, I can only stick to 10. 
I can I personally can only stick to ten if I'm doing this on me. Own. Can't go any more than that. You've seen me struggle when I'm trying to reverse these things up to the what you call it up to the uh, platforms and get them loaded. It's just the amount that you can do. You can't see any more than that. So we're all set. We are all set. If you look at this, look at that. We're all set. That was where I tried to do a, a curve round and join it onto here, but it didn't go right. So we're all set. My next, my next plan, whether I do this on stream or off stream, I may take a feed from here because if the ground's level there and I use the um, constant gradient, I can bring it around here and it should just be a curve and it should be able to go straight here all the way across to there or I can come from here off here and go that way and come in that way but the difference is oh these aren't that far away so the iron works is where you're going to get your tools from the refinery oh okay so I'm going to have to come from here go across loop it around down here still go to the ironworks and then carry it on to the refinery because that's the iron ore place is difficult oh this is going to be crazy this is so the iron ore's here this is going to be crazy iron ore's here the iron mine and you would only take the iron ore to the smelter then I would assume that once it's smelted you would have to bring it all the way down to the ironworks to get tools and the oil in the refinery self-explanatory so the next thing I'm going to look at the oil track from there straight across to here and then I think this one would have to carry on and you can look at the terrain here over to the iron ore oh this is going to be a nightmare and then from the iron ore straight up which is the longest run Don't ask me how I'm going to do that. And I'm not thinking about it now. Otherwise, I'm not getting no sleep. But anyway, guys, that is it for me. And I want to thank you guys for staying with me. I know Sim Sim is not here, but for the bits that you dropped in the channel, uh, for those guys of you that have resubbed, let me just have a look at the right screen. Where are we? No, I do not want to play. Go to the dashboard. Thank you. Oh dear, what did we have? He put so much in the channel. Wow. So we had two hours ago, Doghouse came in with 50 bits. Wonderful. We had Mr. T raid the channel with 39 viewers, which was absolutely brilliant. Uh, what did we have? We had Sim Simmy. He must have dropped something like 2,000 bits in the channel. Wow. I'm trying to look what was going off today. Whoa, about four hours ago. We got the real big Gaz that did an 11 month subscription. We had Minimeep that came in with an 18 month subscription. Guys, I can't thank you guys enough, honestly. I go live, you guys turn up and you show your appreciation. Who could ask for any more than that? So guys, I want to thank you all very, very much. And it's, uh, it's been what? Four and a half hours. It's not bad for 50. But um, I will be back tomorrow. And from what I remember, I think we are still going to be pottering. We, we might still be pottering around on um, SnowRunner. And the, I, I think we'll only do the couple of weeks on SnowRunner. It's just to get me away from what you call it, trucking for a few, day, few weeks. And then I'm going to try and get back to... I won't stream this now for over a week now and i will drop some pop-up streams i will drop some different things into the channel we'll go back to doing timberborn we'll do an we'll do a timberborn 
Uh, we'll probably do a uh, gold hunter. Uh, we will probably do a, uh, what's it called again? Gas station simulator. And I may do some len lens world just to break it up a little bit. Yeah. And then I'll probably come back to this for another week or so. But I, I don't know when this is getting an update and I'm going to watch this very closely for an update and see if I have to redo my save. If I have to redo my save, you know something? I don't know if I'll come back to it. But guys, thank you very, very much for your support. And again, you have been watching The 50 Plus Gamer. Guys, take it easy. You ready?
You ready? 